Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around, roll dice, and play Dungeons and Dragons while Liam curses at me a few seconds before we start the show to try and throw me off. <laughs> it's worked once before. Cock once. Probably work again. Cock <laughs> welcome to the show. Uh, so yeah, for the uh, returning friends, uh, thank you for coming in. And for new folks, welcome to the chaos. Get the fuck out. Uh, Liam, come. Don't say that. <laughs> it's already so hostile here tonight. Uh, so yeah, so I guess first and foremost, let's see if we can get to these announcements pretty quick. Um, I guess first and foremost, a reminder, uh, me and Marisha will be in Colorado tomorrow at the Colorado Anime Fest. Uh, we'll be guests this weekend there. Uh, so if any folks are coming out, we look forward to seeing you. We'll be uh, flying over bright and early tomorrow morning. Uh, Talson, you're also... I will be at the uh, in Phoenix, Arizona at the amazing Comic-Con. Uh, and if you follow me on Twitter, at Executive Goth, that's Executive Goth, I will actually tell you where I will be at the convention at various times, so... So you can stalk him. You can stalk me. It'll be, I'll be very stalkable. Mm -hmm. E-stalk. It's like Santa Tracker, but Talison Tracker. Yeah. Waldo Tracker. Why has nobody done that yet? Mm. Um, oh, oh, oh. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Give it some time. Uh, let's see. Also, I guess uh, tonight we're going to be trying out this new table camera uh, here on the side to give you a, a separate view of the battle. Mm. We can switch around as we're, we're finding our way through uh, the amorphous betterment of our program. So um, can we can we work in like a wolf blitzer hologram? Ooh, that's like they have on CNN as Let's well. Put that on the wish list. On the table next to all the guys. And Only if it's actually Wolf Blitzer, though. Yes. I mean, just having like running through the battlefield would be great. Just his head <laughs> floating. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you can head to the Geek and Sundry Amazon wish list. Uh, the link should be in the chat. Uh, for other things that they're looking forward to, hopefully try and improve this experience and bring it to you guys, uh, be even better going forward. So you can check that out. And this camera is our kind of first leap in that direction. So you can let us know how you think it works and. Bear with us as we still kind of figure this whole thing out. So, uh, let's see. Also, next week, uh, most of us will be at Wizard World Portland. Yeah! Uh, that's our first Wizard World. Uh, you can check out the website for information about our events and uh, signings and tickets and stuff like that. So, go check it out, please. We look forward to seeing you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you up in Portland next weekend. Uh, what else do we have going on? Uh, well, you know, we have an ongoing relationship with Wormwood Gaming which you can find on the internet. Uh, they make beautiful boxes for holding dice and stuff, and if you use the code CRITROLL, crit roll, uh, you will get free shipping. Uh, they have all different kinds of woods, they're lovely. Uh, and then also, hey, this is an impromptu announcement, but uh, Curtis Weeby just announced on the Twitters, uh, he, Curtis Weeby is the writer for the comic book Rat Queens. And, uh, Amazing. We all are addicted to it. Uh, he works with uh, Tess Fowler, who's the artist right now, and basically their outfit and our outfit are in love. <laughs> and uh, Curtis kind of announced on, on Twitter today that he is going to be shoving Vox Machina in there in some way, somehow, and we're very excited. We're making excited. a cameo appearance in Rat Queens, you guys. Yep. Nope. Our first cameo. Lighting? I want to be the rat. <laughs> <laughs> you would, I wouldn't be you? the queen. <laughs> So stupid excited for that. Yeah. I can't even. I can't even. It's so I dumb. I can't even. It's so dumb. Life is dumb. Um, life is dumb. But yeah, so we got that going on. Can't think of anything else. If anything else comes up, we'll just throw it in there in the uh, mid break. But in the meantime. Oh, yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to the, my charity of choice, the Pablo Foundation. Yes. I talked to them today. Their minds were blown by all the gifts that. People have sent in and donations in in the name of Critical Role and the Critter community. They didn't quite understand what the Critter community was, <laughs> but I I enlightened them and they're like they're so jazzed by you guys and they do they, now. They appreciate not just the uh, donations and gifts, but also they said that the critters have been writing long letters and telling great Aww. stories and stuff, and they're That's super so excited. Awesome. So Aww. the best. Keep it going to oh, those wow. charities. Mine's Pablo. Yeah, should we like go off and? Do a shout out of each of our charities. Sure, go for Why it. Why not? Talison, go. Uh, first place for youth, where uh, it's they. I, I'll have a link up to my Twitter in about five minutes. Um, they help kids come kind of get through school. They help kids who are, who are orphaned and having issues uh, get their stuff together and become fabulous teenagers. Like we need in this world. We do. Yeah. And of course, Sam is with Pablov Foundation. The, pa the, pa the Pablov Pablo Foundation. Pablo. Yes. Yeah. Which is amazing. Um, I chose the Nature Conservancy. They're great right. and they protect the lands and the animals that is very important so we can keep having a beautiful green world. 
Uh, I chose the Planetary Society just in case the green world uh, dies. Yes, just and uh, it promotes uh, <laughs> exploration of space uh, and uh, the stuff like that. I chose my friend's place, which is an awesome, also very similar good. to Taliesin's. It's an awesome place for um, teenagers that are uh, runaways or living on the streets. It gives them a place that they can crash and, and really help get their stuff together. And it's pretty awesome. What's up, Jewel Face? I am the Vision. <laughs> uh, Donate to the vision. Yes, I, I have Operation Supply Drop, uh, which is a great uh, charity service that uh, delivers fun where there is none to uh, soldiers that are in combat overseas. Uh, delivers uh, gaming system games, uh, brings some much needed levity to areas of high intensity and overall warrior badassmanship. And uh, I, I'm very proud of that. Yeah. What a variety been, of charity. Yeah, that's a good stretch of charities. And My we've charity. Been, oh, oh yeah, yeah. charity. I got one too, guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey. I sometimes forget about you because you're on that side. I know it happens. Side. You're God. Hey, you're above it, the no, I've overlooked my entire life. It's nothing new. Uh, <laughs> my, my charity is First Book. Um, which uh, brings reading materials uh, to underprivileged children and helps people become more confident readers and youth that don't have access to programs to help promote uh, you know, literary adventure and uh, really getting, delving into the, the amazing thing that is reading. So uh, thank you guys for helping support that. It's been really fantastic. All things that are important for the future. So important, more than you give it credit for. Yes. And of course, uh, as always, Critical Role always supports A26LA. 826 yes, and continually. Continually, yes, they are our sponsored <laughs> charity of choice. And of course, look up 826. There might be an 826 in your area, and you should go to their storefronts. They make great date locations, as Talison always says. Yes, says. great date. Oh, they great really dates. do. That you is a really, really good place. Yeah, yeah so score, take, take it's a score of a date. Mm -hmm. You can score Find a there? date. Take them there. I've find a date first. Okay. Dumb critical role saying. I've done okay. Don't try and find dates at 826. <laughs> that gets, that's bad. <laughs> wow, you just took that to a dark place. Yep. You just took that. <laughs> anyway. All right, so, moving on. Uh, so let us let us go ahead and delve into tonight's game proper, folks. Yeah. Um, so to get you up to speed, Vox Machina, the intrepid band of adventurers you see before you, uh, after a series of adventures, had found their way back to their central city of Iman, in the center of the uh, region of Taldore. Uh, after a ceremony in which the leader of their city, Sovereign Uriel Taldore, was uh, announcing him stepping down, uh, the town was suddenly under siege by a group of extremely powerful and dangerous ancient dragons that call themselves the Chroma Conclave. Uh, after uh, tearing the city asunder in many places, uh, three of them flew off into the east under the instruction of the fourth and possibly largest and leader of the group. Uh, it has recently been uh, found to be called Thordak, the Cinder King, who currently resides in the center of the city of Amon, uh, claiming that his mercy is only to those who worship him and essentially feed his greed and hunger. As such, uh, Vox Machina narrowly escaping the battle, uh, a couple of encounters with these dragons, including one above their keep, are housing a number of survivors who made their way out of the city and are currently uh, residing in Grayskull Keep for protection. Um, you guys went into the city to see if you could find any other allies uh, and friends that may have survived this encounter. Uh, you befriended a member of the Clasp named uh, Garthok, who walked amongst uh, the rubble and uh, proceeded to show you the secret entrance he knows to the Clasp, of which you may be trying to inquire about information. Uh, on your way to uh, that area, you've passed by Gilmore's shop. Gilmore being a good friend of the group and a powerful magic practitioner and creator of magical items and artifacts and a number of glorious goods. Um, his abode, however, smashed and currently a pile of burnt wood and rock. Uh, looters were currently pouring through and you attempted to get them to leave the area alone. It came to blows and with many of the looters falling in battle, two of which were kept uh, locked away, you discovered the location of where they were hoarding the massive amounts of gold and uh, artifacts that they had acquired from the rubble. You then found the secret compartment in which Gilmore's teleportation sigil was uh, locked beneath his shop, where the remaining family of Taldore, Salda and the three children, as well as uh, Gilmore himself, wounded and barely alive, having saved them, you found that Uriel uh, the Sovereign did not seemingly survive the encounter with the dragons, and Gilmore nearly fell uh, going back to try and make sure that you guys were okay. 
uh, barely escaping with his life. You managed to save his, and uh, taking the children, Salda, Sherry, and Gilmore back to Grey Skull Keep. Um, some of you splintered off to try and acquire the goods that were taken from his store. However, they apparently had already been stolen from the location they were being stored in or been delivered already. You're uncertain as to what became of them. Uh, but you get the sense that it was probably best that you chose Gilmore over the gold uh, at first glance. Uh, making your way back to the keep, uh, you've sent Gilmore up to rest for the evening. Uh, some of you have then found your way down into the Temple of Saren Ray, where a number of the escaped refugees from Iman currently try desperately to cling to their memories, to try and uh, keep the sheikhs at bay and contemplate what the next step is in survival in this now partially ruined city. And that was where we left off. So. What would you like to do? <laughs> Kill all the dragons and yeah. save the day. Good. Yeah. Roll for it. <laughs> oh, that was a good roll, see? Natural 20. No. <laughs> no, no. You wake up. No. Um, I rolled five natural 20s before the show even That's started. That's a great So it's great all going to be yeah. an important lesson. terrible. Why thing. are you get that rolling out of your before system. the show? Because I got to see. She feels like she's got to warm up her endless <laughs> army of dice. <laughs> no, I just have to figure out which ones I want to use that night. You have five d20s right now. By the I way. know, and they're all useful. No, I've got six out here. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely all useful. This, this is, this is, by the way, for anybody <laughs> tuning in for the first time at home. Nine, this is ten. how we express. We have no idea what to do. Thursday, Thursday right night now. is critical. Role <laughs> night. Thursday night is critical. Role. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Where are we? We're, We're at home. We're, We're in Grey Skull Keep. And uh, Gilmore's with us? Gilmore's with you. He's yeah, been brought he upstairs. And, yeah. and, and did Pike's holy uh, visitor fix the keep, or is the keep still effed up? Actually, in, in the short time in which her visitor, this this uh, this angelic diva-like entity that was brought forth from Saren Ray's sphere of influence, uh, did manage to repair entirely the damage that was sustained by the uh, to the keep from the battle with Vorugal. Uh, out in your courtyard. So yes, the uh, Grey Skull Keep is now back to being intact Woo! and uh, rather fairly polished. Excellent. The stained glasses are fixed and, and corrected. Wow. It must look so strange next to the ruined city, city. of Imam. It's far enough away, but. <laughs> a little strange. Oh, yeah. So what time is it? It was nighttime. Throw a tarp right? over it or something. Uh, you or got. It's like midday. Uh, no, it's, it's about <laughs> mid afternoon at this point, maybe pushing into the evening. Okay. Uh, is Kima still around? Is that what was that? Um, is Lady uh, is Lady Kima still around or? Lady Kima has been in Vasselheim. No, no, not Vasselheim. I'm so sorry. Alora. 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 No, Alora no. I'm on the wrong page. Yeah, she went to She already left. Yeah, she and Drake went. I moved my note. Where are the Remember, they turned into shooting stars and they flew away. Is uh, is Clarota still here with us? <laughs> <laughs> Good start tonight, you guys. In your hearts. <laughs> in your heart of hearts. No, not, not even there. Uh, sure he is. Where are the majority <laughs> of the people? Are they in the like dining hall and, and in the... the? They're scattered between the dining hall and the temple, uh, the, uh, the temple room to Saren Ray. Partially because, one, there's enough space there, two, it's a place of sanctity, it's a place of hope, and uh, uh, Pike is currently you know, bringing people, not, not preaching to them per se, but offering comfort in their current area of misery. And and worry, um, so those are pretty much the localized areas. Occasionally, one of the kids might begin wandering the halls, and the parent might chase after them, trying to draw them back in. But you know, respectfully, no one's wandering the house, filling their pockets. They're all still happy to be alive at this. Well, that's because we don't have anything. Because Scanlan's troop stole everything anyway. We bought too. new silverware. We're, we're sure we did. Maybe they can eat it. Maybe it wasn't my troop. Maybe it was our new guests. The ho the. Uh, f people fleeing for that. I was going to say, are there any new people that have come into the keep while we've been away? Could I ask one of our guards that? Sure, yeah. Uh, Shane, who's uh, out front, uh, currently just kind of strolling through the uh, the courtyard, comes up to you, and as you ask her, she goes, well, but we've uh, we've had a few uh, other refugees come in and ask for entry, and we patted them down, make sure there were no weapons, and tried our best to keep an eye on them since they've arrived. But, uh... You know, seems like most everyone's keeping either into the city or keeping fairly underground. Nobody's sticking out to you, though. No shady individuals, nobody sweating more than is, you know, necessary when being threatened by a big fuck off dragon. Not yet, but uh, I believe Jared's keeping a close eye. Jared. Jared. Ah, that guy. All right. 
Man crush? No. <laughs> <laughs> should we? I wonder. I, in, mm, I wonder. In, in all prudence, should we? Should we go around to the to the Fujis and uh, the refugees and uh, <laughs> and just do a quick like uh, oh, scan alignment of the check. alignment check or something? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren Hill is shaking her head. Do we have anything mm. that can like, sense people's alignment? Do you? Uh, Pike, uh, might, Pike and might, and you might. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Can you mass sense alignment? Mass sense alignment? Is that a thing? Uh, no, I'm saying I can do some like insight checks on people. Oh, I don't well, know. I'm talking, like, about, like, I'm talking about magic, huh? No, I, I'm, not, I'm not Pike. <laughs> All right. Pike. 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 Is she with us? She, uh, Pike is with you. She is currently helping folks inside Damn the temple, Pike. but you can go <laughs> ask her too. Listen, you can go use ask the her. skull to wish to know everyone's alignment. <laughs> Problem solved. I'll kill everyone. Um, <laughs> Maybe just, we should just kill it. one of them to make an example. Yeah, really, this is terrible. <laughs> I'll set happen? the tone. No, this isn't the, the real. Tone. You know, this you isn't gotta... the real game. The game hasn't actually started yet. <laughs> so. Um, Glancing about the populace of scattered refugees throughout the, uh, uh, the general vicinity of Grayskull Keep, I will pick two of you who wish to be the main uh, surveyors of the crew. Is this insight? This I'm would on be it. insight. Not yes. me. I'm, I'm on it with see. Vex. Okay, so Vex and Keyleth, both of you guys roll insight checks, please. Okay. okay. See, this is why I shouldn't have this many dice because I don't know what to choose. Okay, uh, 20, what is that? 21? 21. Uh, 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 insight? Yeah. 22. 21. Uh, both of you guys spend about 10, 15 minutes or so just scanning through the crew, asking a few questions, uh, helping a few folks out while keeping an eye on reactions around the, uh, the general vicinity. No one sticks out to you as being either uh, hiding their intent, shifty, there are a few folks that are just aloof from the whole experience that seem to be either in a state of shock or just discomfort based on their current surroundings, but nothing in a, a way that strikes you as nefarious or worrisome. And are they all strangers other than the people we brought back with us recently? Correct. They are all strangers. Yeah. Uh, a lot anyone... of people live in Iman and none of them seem to catch your eye. Yeah. Is anyone still badly hurt? Uh, most of them have had their wounds tended to. There are a few that have uh, general scars, some from you know, elements of kind of frostbite on their skin, who got caught in the blast, who were salvaged before, uh, you know, after Vorgal left. There are a few that just have scrapes and bruises from fleeing from the town, from collapsing uh, debris from different buildings and such, but no serious, serious injuries. A few bone fractures here and there that have been set and bandaged. I'm going to spend the first bit of time at home just helping Pike, uh, just doing whatever she tells me to do, really, to, to help the people here. Okay. Is there any deceased that need to be tended to? Well, there are a number of deceased in the, in the front courtyard, people that were frozen and shattered as part of right. Orgal's attack, which at this point, um, most of them have been taken care of by the guards and okay. given proper burial on the outside of the keep a few yards away, towards like on the inside of one of the hills. Um, they haven't been left to thaw, if that was what you're worried about. That's what I was worried about. No. Um, right meat. In, in, in the time. Right. Uh, <laughs> Gross. Way to go dark. <laughs> Way to go dark. I thought that's what we were doing today. Hey, thought it's cost was effective. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's uh, what we were doing today. But no, a, a number of the refugees have also helped the guards as well as transporting the bodies of the deceased and making sure that they're properly interred in the nearby countryside. Okay. What are our options here? First of all, should we, do we know this Gilmore status? Yeah, we need to get him settled in, make sure he's all right. Well, he's gone up, he's resting. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we put him in bed, to bed already. Oh, okay. He's in Percival's room, mm. I think, because you said you would sleep in your, your laboratory. And when we last left things, there was one plan to go into the tunnels of the Thieves' Guild and try to see if there's any yes. more. Actually, got, 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 Garth Thok. Yes. Gothok. Gothok is waiting for us down in those. I would like to talk to the so clasp. So we can go look at the clasp and talk to them and everything because he's told them we're on our way. And to what end again? We're just, we're going to see if there's any. 
Well, Random because diplomats actually, left over? No, they're, they're the only they're really functioning organization it's, it's, left in this city at this point. It's true, they're sort of a double-edged sword, though. I mean, they can't. They should not be trusted. We cannot trust them, but they are an infrastructure under the city. They may have more of an idea of what's going on than we do. I'm the best to speak to them, but I'm not on good terms with them, and... I've never really talked to you about this, but you were marked at one point a long time ago. What? And... Um, For death? The re... Actually, I'm yes. Sure Why? Well... What did I do? I'm sure I don't know. Um, the reason there is a brand on my back is because I interceded. Some other schmo died instead of you. And... Um, you might be a bit of a sore point with them. I don't know. They might not remember, but uh, I don't think that's you, true. I'm, I think they'll remember. Yeah, how what long ago was this? Uh, what did you do? Before we knew you. So many things. <laughs> before we met. When Vex and I were on our own. Was it because you farted that time? You didn't think you could mention this? All the times we've dealt with the class. You didn't think it was worth mentioning. No, she's already been died. She's already been down there. Why? She's already been down there. You think they're going to recognize her now? We're going down to talk. We've been down there to talk. All right. All right. This is why you don't keep secrets. Well, I say that we organize a group. We let's not get let's not get overexcited about the sudden realization that you know some of us can be a bit iffy. Uh, we've all had a moment. We've all had a moment probably within the last three weeks. I'm not saying I don't. I haven't. <laughs> yes, oddly, you and Pike seem to be immune. It uh, is a virtue. <laughs> but let's organize a group and let's at least open relations oh, with oh, them at well, this hang point. Hang on, hang on. What are we going to say to them when we get down there? What's What's the... What are we, what are we going to well, offer them? We are going to offer them our services in getting this city back into a functioning level. They don't, they don't want a city ruled by a dragon. We don't want a city ruled by a dragon. It's in their interest to help us clear the city. They're going to look out for themselves, and you're probably, I'm sure you're right, they want these dragons out, but they will do, they will preserve their own existence, and there's a possibility that bowing before <clears throat> these beasts will preserve their existence. Not long term, and these are groups that think long term. Wait, are you talking about us bowing to the class? No, the, the class bowing to the dragons. The okay. dragons I sincerely bowing. doubt it. There are levels. And yes, we've been down there, we've argued with them, but we're talking about going down there and making an alliance, an ongoing alliance, and sh shit might come up, that's what I'm saying. It's not going to be an alliance. Let's make it a business deal. We're, we're talking about making a political <clears throat> decision. This is politics. What if they leave? What if they leave the city? Or what if they turn us into the dragon to save their own arses? They could. Well, I yeah. doubt they'd leave. That's a terrible waste of an investment. And you're essentially relying on the underbelly of Iman to restore it. I am. I'm relying on greed. It tends to be exceedingly reliable. In your experience. Yes. In all experience, let's be honest. Thank you. Uh, to the greedy one, to the greedy one. Well, th this is one option, are we sure? We don't want to seek yes, help. Yes, what are our other options? I'm Do curious as to other we, options. We know why the, the dragons lands. are here, right? Ish? I, I really feel do. like it might be necessary for me to also reach out to the air and, and earth and possibly even the water Ashari. It might be difficult because I haven't been there yet to see if they've had any other tears through the other elemental planes. That would be quite wise. Yeah. We can also seek to employ their services. Skander. I am... Um, huh? Who? Oh. What about you becoming a spy? <laughs> I've been thinking about that <laughs> long and hard. Have you? Yes. And what are your thoughts? Most of what I do is long and hard. Uh, and my <laughs> thoughts are still, fuck you, no way, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're saying is... <laughs> Maybe. You <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. Your <laughs> 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 shining moment. 
Nothing is ever going to top the Triceratops, really. Let's. Maybe the Triceratops could kill all the dragons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we reach out to the Ashari. Absolutely. How's well, your homeland? I don't know. Do we need no. to find out? I would love to. We should. You can transport there instantly. I can, I just can't get back instantly. Mm. You need Keyleth. And I figured that they would have sent somebody at this point if things had gone. They have an instant transport to us if they need to find us. That's true. And the yes. fact that they haven't. Unless they don't know about the stone and the only one with the stone. The council knows about well, the stone. there's no one left to send. Yes, if things went south instantly. You would have heard. I can scry twice that today. That would be lovely. I can do it two times. So we need to pick. I would. Where it's most important to check in versus where we might want to just pop in and say hello. Whitestone is also somewhere where we could arm ourselves more completely against something like this. We're going to have to start with what? As a note too, Pike can also scry as well. Oh, good. Oh. Because I, I mean, would like to check into Vasselheim as well. How do you kill yeah. a dragon? Do we need a dragon? Can we get a dragon that hates these dragons? Is that a thing? You know, there is the Slayer's take. Wait, wait, what were we saying huh. about the dragons? Do Has other dragons hate dragons? Them? Yeah, can we find a dragon who can fight for us? Well, there's metallic dragons. Don't get along with chromatic. Do we know any metallic dragons? Yeah, where are they? We would have to go to Vasselheim and maybe... My Aunt Edna. <sighs> what? <laughs> She's a dragon lady. I don't know if it's hmm. the same thing. Like, oh, right. No, like yes. she. Yes, this was this little little ceramic dragons. She likes collecting them. And, yeah. I was mocking him, yeah. Right. <laughs> so wait, the Slayers take what? <clears throat> well, it's an organization made to hunt massive creatures, isn't it? It's a horde of. Fucking ass kickers is what it is. is we true. fought a dragon. And we're members. We killed a dragon for that. They're also rooted in Vasselheim, which is. It's safe. Uh, safe. Yes, but. <clears throat> we think. If everything else is under attack, Vasselheim is inevitable. Yes, but they're protected. How, however. For a time. Ish. Allow me to play Tiefling's advocate and. <laughs> um, if we leave now and allow the clasp to take hold and form some sort of new shadow government without us having any part in it. It's out of our control completely. It won't be in our control at all. But maybe if we speak to them now, we'll have a better idea of what's going on. I, I'm, not, I'm not sold on any idea yet, but if we leave now and let things play out, it's entirely out of our hands. All right, well, how about this? We can scry between Pike and I four times. So we can make four phone calls today. Not phone what? calls, just a look. Calls. Phone. Yes. So there's various look. Then look but home. they can't talk. We need back, to look right? home. Yeah. No, we can. We can peek through a window. Phone. Okay. <laughs> and it's we can phone. then try and go visit Sons. the class. <laughs> okay. Well, let's scry it up then. Right. Who are we calling? Magic Whitestone, words. Vasselheim, White center, center of Iman. Whitestone and Vasselheim, I think, definitely. And I want to check in with. Could I object to check in the center of Iman, right? Because that's where the Cinder King is. Let's. Did yes. he like real magic? And when we did that to the Beholder, didn't it like see us and laugh? And then we were like, oh, it hurt my brain. He's got, okay. a, he's got right. a point. He's got yeah. a point. We don't need to describe to Iman. We don't need to describe to I remember. So, how many. <laughs> we're talking Vasselheim, yeah? Whitestone. Whitestone. And you can do it. Well, you know what, let's two. go talk to Pike, because Pike might possibly have some sort of spiritual connection with Vasselheim as well. Yes. That might save us very busy. a scry. But I'm... it's possible that Vasselheim might be our next stop after we secure everything here. Okay. Oh, I can Pike. also oh. teleport oh. us once today if we decide to go anywhere. Thanks. Pike! P Pike! Pikey. Like, comes out, a little bit of dirt in her brow, looks oh. like she's been busy kind of handling some of the folks. I reach out and just sort of brush the dirt from above <laughs> her forehead. Blink, she kind smiles and pushes your hand away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, what, what, yes? Pike, do you have any sort of spiritual connection with Vasselheim? Do you feel, you know how? I do, I do. Um, do why? You, okay, can you check, can you just kind of, can you scry? Can you see if they're okay? We want to scry oh, and check uh, in with a few places, but 
course, of course, no worries. She kind of ushers you guys back into the temple. Okay. And then gets a little nervous when she starts thinking about it and walks up to the uh, uh, the central platform of prayer and takes out her holy symbol. Uh, her armor's off right now, by the way. She's just in like her kind of ceremonial robes. It's kind of hard to clink around her armor amongst a bunch of refugees. Um, sits down, and focuses for a second, and pulls out some uh, some salt and begins uh, spreading it into a small kind of triangular shape around her, and then pulls her holy symbol up and closes her eyes. And for that moment, you can see a beam of sunlight come through the roof, uh, the glass roof of the temple, which then kind of uh, refracts into multiple colors that slowly dissipate. Um, around her, you can see everyone. Everyone else who's gathered in the room falls quiet and just kind of watches on as there's this tiny little visual miracle. And she stays there for a moment, a few more moments, probably about 30, 40 seconds pass before the light slowly retracts back up through the glass. And she stands up and turns around and goes, "Um, Vasselheim seems fine for now." What have touched from the dragon scourge at the very least? That's good. That's good. What of Whitestone? Oh, uh, yes. Um, she goes right back down the position, <laughs> kind of with an air of begrudging acceptance. Um, focuses for a second. Um, spends a few more moments in her scrying ritual before stepping back and turns slowly to you, Percy, and says, um, Whitestone seems fairly uh, overlooked by these dragons as well. The town rebuilds. People seem to be going about their lives, possibly none the wiser as to what's transpired this side of oh, Taldore. Wow. Weird. Okay. We'll send word at the very least. It's all over the water. Maybe the dragons haven't gone that far. <clears throat> it's far north. I'll make sure to send word. Um, okay. One of the kids starts crying, and she goes, "Oh." <clears throat> Hold on, and goes over and starts tending to one of the children who has like a, a knee brace on, is currently aching, and she goes to help calm him down. Um, do you think you could look in on Syngorn? Of course. Mm -hmm. Mostly to I see you know. step up to the table and begin my scrying ritual and check in on Syngorn. Okay. Oh, come on. on. We need like cu cups and strings. We do. We need a really string. Or a walkie-talkie. He's saying Singorn is gone. Don't say that. Shut up. Millions dead. Millions. <laughs> Millions. Very large. Remember to shop at Gilmore's Ruined Rubble. <laughs> oh. oh no, he didn't even get a new franchise before it was. For all your reclaimed wood needs. Oh. Oh. Well done. Oh. Well done. Oh. That was nice. The best, the best was watching Laura go, wait, 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 oh, what a great idea. Oh. An endless supply of pavers and gravel. <laughs> Gilmore's building supply. It's <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're a home improvement. Back to your regularly scheduled D&D game. What did you see, Keyleth? Um, Singorn is gone. Oh. And I don't mean destroyed. I don't mean burned. I don't mean that it gets in rubble. I mean, it's gone. The city's gone. There's like a huge chasm, a huge empty spot in the middle of the forest where Singorn once lied. But lay, lay, lay. lay. Was it, dis did, did it look like it was destroyed to, to it, nothing it, or transported it, somewhere? Like that, like transported, like the city oh. was lifted out of its place and is it was teleported elsewhere. Uh, well. Could it have been, I don't know how your scrying works, could it have been some sort of a magical block, not real, an illusion of some sort? I would like Vax and Vex to both roll uh, a history check. 
Any kind of advantage on that? Nope. For growing up there. Nope. That's, you get to roll this because of that. History? Shit. Should have stayed in school. Eight. Fifteen. Okay. Can I can I take a rule just for being a nerd? All out of luck. Are you proficient in history? I am proficient in history. Sure, I'll let Thank you, you. I'll let you roll. I want a nerd roll. Uh. Twenty-four. Okay. Book reading. Okay. <laughs> being the astute uh, researcher, the indoor kid growing no up. No friends. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There aren't a lot of books that <coughs> made their way north about pure elven culture, especially wooded elves that uh, comprise the entirety of the Singor nation. Well, I, sp I speak elven, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has rarely come into play, but because of previous wars, terrible devastation, and the need for the elvish culture to um, protect itself and to maintain its existence, you do know that there have been instances of large uh, enchantments on places of, of cultural importance that would bridge between here and the Feywild, and as a defense mechanism, essentially, would cloak and or shift those locations. They've gone into hiding. How can you be sure? I can't, but there's... There's reason to believe so. It's what it points to. What, what points to what? What are you talking about? Historically, elves have, in times of great stress, taken important sites, important places, people, and uh, either cloaked them hidden them or moved them into the Feywild until such time as the danger has passed. There is precedence for this. They've gone into hiding. Great. That's one more thing our father failed to impart to us. <laughs> At least he's safe. Okay. Uh, most likely. I need to check in on the Arashari. I'm gonna spend my last crying. Okay. As your, uh, <clears throat> Vision separates from your current uh, place of origin. You find yourself drifting up into the clouds and speeding through the air. Um, the location itself is blurred, though recalling the origin of where you originally came from. You pass by columns of black smoke to your left. You assume somewhere uh, related to Western's current location. Right. Eventually, the clouds part and you find yourself thrust down upon the earth amongst uh, the center of the Arishari tribe. You can see the uh, thin leather constructs that make up uh, a portion of your people's uh, hovels and buildings. You can see the nearby uh, kind of chasm-based windfall that pours through constantly with a gentle whistling sound that forever is marked as the chorus that guides you all to sleep every evening. Um, there you can see your people um, uh, amongst various conversations, going amongst their various daily duties, seemingly uh, untouched, unscathed, and unaware of what recent events have transpired. They're okay. That is the last of your scarring capability for the day. You didn't have to know that. Big girls don't scar. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I sat on that plate. Wow. I know. Wow, just yeah, yeah, six hit after hit after hit today, Allison. <laughs> you know, just because you can doesn't mean you should. I know, I know. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> um. Right, they're okay. They seem unaware, which is very disheartening on a few levels. Well, they'll know soon, soon enough. Exactly. We are going to need transport. To where? I don't think we're going to win this fight staying here. I think we're going to have to rally power. I think we're going to have to rally allies. Yeah, I don't think there's nations. enough here for us to win. Can we 
could relocate all of the refugees staying in our walls. Can probably Can get... we bring everyone through the sundry, Keyleth? How long does it stay open? Six seconds. Nope. We can go in shifts. This is not something that's going to be solved tomorrow. We can take a week and move people. That's true. And there's 50 to 100 refugees, you said. Something like that, right? Uh, at this point now, in your keep surviving, you're looking in the 30s. 30s? Yeah. Oh. But there's hundreds more inside the city walls. Thousands. The time oh, being. Thousands we're, going, we're not going to be able to empty the city. Yeah. But we can at least get these people out. We can get these yes. people out, and we're going to need, and I apologize for the brightness in my voice, I think we're going to need an airship. Uh, <laughs> Where? Are we're going an airship to be sounds wonderful, Percy, but. You mean like the one that crashed? Like the one that crashed. One. One dragon attacking it, and it's down. We're going to That's need true. to move quickly, though, from city to city, and we're going to need to get word. <clears throat> well, moving quickly from city to city, I don't know. We may have to steal an airship at some point. <laughs> what? We're going to steal a plane? Uh, <sighs> I'm making a plan. I'm thinking of a plan. You keep thinking there. It's working. Well, I mean, I, I've recently discovered that that um, misty the, wind walk spell that I cast on all of us is, currently not, in use is in not great city. for battle, but is great for travel. Oh. And that lasts for eight hours. What does? Who? Where? What's this? Wind. Remember yeah. how I, I almost oh, killed us all? Yes, yes, yes. He turned us all into mist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Grog. Um, what I what I learned out of that was it's not great for battle, but it is great for travel. It, it um it lasts for eight hours. We can move three hundred feet. Wonderful. Per second. We get the refugees out. We go to Whitestone. We talk to them there. We use the misty walk thingy and go to Vasselheim. Talk to the Slayer's Take. This is perfect. Problem. Are we going to check in with the clasp? I really like Percy's idea about stealing a plane. I'm just throwing that out there. There is an there <laughs> is an empty air dock. That's currently not being used in the city. But Percy, do we need a ship right it would now, be darling? So cool. I, I, agree. <laughs> I understand the joy in it. We don't need it now, but we're going to be need. At some point. We could take all of these refugees with us. That's actually don't a very understand? fair point. Uh, we would be helping humanity. You, I'm, you all, I'm with Vex. And well, honestly, having a caper. A dragon a wouldn't dragon. notice a giant airship flying not out of the city. If we hide it with it, some some smoke screen action of some sort, guys, or this, create a distraction. This is an RPG. Yeah. Not, not a JRPG. <laughs> I want to live like Teddy Ruxpin. This is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> we need to talk to the class. First. All right, let's class go talk first. to the class. Yes. We'll ask Plus them what Laura they think about. And Drake are coming back. back. Yeah. We need to talk to them as well. Find out what's going on in Western, and then we need to get everyone out. I I can do. And we're going to need to I talk can, to I can I can transport some of us via plants today. I will have to sleep if we want in like study to do the misty stuff. I've again. got a plan. We're not going to go anywhere. We have big. time. This is not a one day plan. Here's, here's a good plan. This is a good plan, though. Here it comes, everybody. Open up the tree, send a bunch of refugees. Just through. shove a bunch in. Just sure. shove them through as fast as possible. Sure. Percy, you go with them. With We keep the stone. You go through. You talk to your sister. You mm. bamf back with the stone. Ooh. Let Whitestone know what's going on. Because they're gonna we, freak out if And like, then we talk to the class together. I think that's a good plan. They will freak out if 20 no, refugees pour out of the sun tree. Yeah, thank you. And that's they have no context. Do that first. Arithmetic. Yes. yes. Okay. So wait, are you gonna go on your mission while we go talk to the class? No, I'm... No, we're gonna wait. No, you're gonna do we're gonna wait. this now. This All right. should be really quick. So can we get the refugees together? Here. All right, so as you go into the uh, temple and uh, get Pike's attention, you begin to round up the refugees, which as a statement historically, is already unnerving. Um, you begin to, to push them all together in a group and tell them <laughs> what? Oh, well, we comfort them and tell them, all right. What's going on? Yeah. Obviously, Amon is not a safe place to be right now. No, that's true, that's true. It's, it's, it's terrible here. What would, what? It's dangerous. And we want to keep all of you as safe as possible. Yes, and thank you for taking us on. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So it's like cheering. So we have a like, plan. Probably can only take a few. They should be women today, and children. Today. We're going to take those of you who need the most attention first. And we're going to bring you to Whitestone, which is a, a city that has not been affected by dragons at all. It has much need of people who can do an honest day's labor. And you can, you can earn a wage and find a living there 
for the time being, and if, if at some point in time you want to come back to Amon when all of this is done, of course you're more than welcome to. There is opportunity I there. Say so. And no dragons. Make a space check today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Roll in the gold. Stay on the one. agon day. <laughs> Uh, 20? Hey, that's okay. good. Um, a couple of folks kind of, well, I've, I've never been to Whitestone, is it, is it cold? Yes. In the winter? It's winter. <laughs> then, uh, it could be, it could be a little Bundle chilly. Bundle up, yes. we'll give you some, some wool blankets for the trip. Uh, okay. There's definitely no vampires there, none. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of kids go, uh, vampires, sir? Uh, I like that we're sending to them to the place that's got the orb of death. There. <laughs> they don't know it's that. It's going through. What was that? Nothing. No, nothing. nothing. She didn't say anything. I said, oh, okay. you might be able to see your breath. Oh. Winter, right. Yes. Okay, um, <laughs> let's grab our things, and some of the folks are getting their things together. <laughs> and packing packing up sort of mess. What they had on their back, essentially, as they rushed here. <laughs> kind of shake a few out of their shell shock, and uh, they all kind of gather up uh, towards the center of the temple of Saren Ray. Yes. How many do you think we can Wait. fit Percy. through in six seconds? Stone. I go already gave it to Keith. Oh, okay. DM question? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many do you think I can fit through in six seconds? We'll find out. If I put them in like a line and we're like, okay, yes. go, go, That's go. up to you guys. How do you want, how, how do you want to do this? Oh. They can't get, no one can get cut in half, can they? They can't get oh, hurt. Oh, shit. Well, as soon as we see it start to shrink, we stop, we cut off the line. Well, what we should do, here's the thing that I'm, I'm, I'm worried about. We don't want like a kid to go through and then right. the kid get separated from their mom. No, no, no. Only Well, only everybody's got to grow up at some point. <laughs> how, many, how many children are here? Uh, I'd say you have seven children. Children with their moms go and families go first. What, what we were families. saying, the, the, the terribly injured, the people with the worst injuries. All right, those people first. Yeah, those those people first. Yeah, because they'll go through real fast. And then with kids, <laughs> but they need attention now. They need let's attention. let's let's. Hey, we're gonna be doing this every I'm, day for I've, several I've days. Got a, I've got a weird theory. Let's we not send like people a... with injuries yet, so that that they can perhaps. Recover? Pike can stay here and take oh, care of them for call. a little bit. Okay, so the we'll get some, stay. and well, we so I can like explain what's wagon. happening to the. We can't like put them on a wagon. I don't want to like lose a wagon girl. to White Stone. This is just how Schindler did it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he just he debated all. it for a while and then. I, 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 no words! <laughs> and the room goes. <laughs> no words! Silent and the mug comes up. <laughs> Okay. So. Uh, so not the injured. Families first. How about families that? first. They can move. <laughs> we'll count to six, and then we'll put a rope down, and when we hit things. six, we pull the rope, and it will just hold everybody. Or we just Wait, tell, there's a rope? Just, okay, maybe. As we see it start to shrink, I'll hold the people back. Yes, just hold the people so back. So, Pussy, you're first, I'm everybody first. follow through. Follow through. So, okay. any families here? Yeah. Families? Uh, some of the kids raise their hands, some adults go over and like, grab kids' hands and stand next to them. No, yes. Uh, I am really responsible. I can I can tell when you're lying, sir. Are of you responsible for that child? Make an inside check. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, 26. <laughs> uh, two of those people are definitely just taking a kid's hand in hopes of getting through first. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll walk in and start cracking my knuckles behind Vex. But I mean, I can wait, no worries. <laughs> child, where's your parents? Do you have one? Uh, they haven't shown up yet. Oh dear. Mm. What should we do? Keep them here in case the parents come. Okay, then you would stay and wait for your, your family. Yeah, okay. potentially. So you'll stay with Pike for now. Okay. Yes. Pike kind of comes over and like pats him on the shoulder. They're the same height, so it's easy. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do um, completed full families who are comfortable relocating. They can move. Okay. Here we go. Uh, All together, completed full families, there are two. How many people? Um, be a total of eight people. That's good. That's a good they amount. Could, that, they could do yeah, that. think about it. One, one thousand. And one, then 1, any other they like single people that can positions. move fast. Yeah, a couple single people uh, to, to, couple to bring up the rear. Yeah. Single people just in case. Hurt. You might be able to get. Through. You have about ten more people that raise their hands. Uh, we can get that like, many like, through in six like late teens to early twenties. You're ready to run, people. All right. So um, let's go to the three. Percy, you're gonna lead. Six one thousand. Percy, you're gonna lead. We're gonna put the. You're going in first. I am. The eight up front. Yep. With the 10, 15 stragglers behind, and we're gonna tell them, I tell them all, all right, as soon as you see that tree start to part, run! 
<laughs> Run your face off. And then I tell that to the you, crowd. You hang out by the tree. And keep running. So that you make keep room running. for everyone behind you. We don't want, like, it's not the bottom of an escalator. <laughs> yes, keep Whatever running. that is. Yes, it's the thing I've been working running. on. It's going to be don't great. Don't stop in the tree. You will create uh, terrible going. congestion. Everybody can comfortable I, can with I, the uh, <laughs> Can I inspire Keyleth for this? Sure. Okay, I will, I will perform a, uh, a, a limerick for solo. her to, to inspire her. <clears throat> I know an air-headed young druid oh. whose plans are more gassy than fluid. <laughs> When the battle starts, she turns her pals into farts. They see danger and pass right through it. <laughs> Thank you, Scanlan, I love it. It's so like me. Take a 1D, you really 10 inspiration die. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> I hate to be like the detail-oriented one about this whole thing, but should somebody be counting as soon as he starts so that we like put yeah. down an arm at six? You count in your head. You for really us. don't mm. want me to. And I might count out. out loud. Inspiration, I can get a few Vex will more count. seconds Vex will in count. there. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll say for the sake of this, go ahead and roll a wisdom check. Oh boy. Count the gold. You can count. So just roll oh, a d6. This turns to three d20 seconds. and add your yeah. wisdom modifier to the six. That's that elven Oh, that's not good. You got inspiration great. if you need it. I do. Can I add my inspiration to this? Oh, that that's good. That helps. that helps a lot. Okay, so that's 13. 13 Wait, what am I just plus adding? Wisdom. Wisdom. Just my straight wisdom? Yep. Wisdom um, modifier. Straight wisdom. My modifier, 19 total. 19 total. Okay. So as you, <laughs> you. as you all gather around in the center of the temple, Keel, if you step up to the outside of one of the two front trees to the temple, uh, one of the ones you guys are usually used to transport to and from here, as you focus in and reach your hand out and touch the outside of the tree's bark, with a rough tearing sound, the tree bark just widens into uh, an oval-shaped doorway that is immediately visible. On the opposite side, you can see before you uh, a lightly snow-dappled landscape that is the central market of Whitestone. We put blankets on everybody, right? Because we said yeah, we yeah, we yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. For what you had. Okay. You don't really have a cast of blankets. Go! No! Oh, run! Go! Oh, go! Go! All right. Go, Percy, go! Who's pushing? Who's pushing? Percy. I'm already Going through. First. Yeah, Percy's through. All right, so. Are you guys just letting them go at their own rate? Oh, 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 Roll an intimidation oh, check. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a football line. Like a, uh, 17. Uh, 17. <laughs> 17. With that, everyone goes <laughs> and just starts charging through wildly. The crowd oh, starts pushing 000. through. I'm trying to hold uh, it. I'm trying to hold it. 1,000. No severed limbs, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> okay. Um, all, all the rest of the family people go through. The the young folks push through. You manage to get a total of uh, twenty three people. Oh, that's a good amount. Uh, a few work, folks guys. even weren't even planning to go on this. Were so driven by the sudden shouting <laughs> grog voice echoing from behind, and they just charged for it, Black Friday style, and uh, uh, just managed to escape. You know the tail end of the spell, tapering the doorway off. Well, I hope, <laughs> I hope Percy comes back soon. I've yeah. got the gate stone. All right, so. What's that? Percy. That thing that's that's thing. I'm oh, you've got going to get everybody stone. organized. Yeah. Everyone, please follow me. We're heading towards the, the main castle. Audience, They're all kind of looking around. As, as slow, Welcome to Whitestone. The gentle snowfall kind of coming through the sky itself, you can see, is covered in, in uh, relatively light white clouds. Just, just enough moisture to, to carry the little snowfall that's happening. Uh, there are folks in the center of the town that are all kind of surprised to see this arrival, but recognize you. <laughs> Um, and just kind of cheer a little bit. Hey, Percival! <laughs> Thank you for that smattering Hi. of applause. Um, golf claps, golf, golf claps, <laughs> please, golf claps. Uh, the refugees Snaps. all gather up behind you, and you guys walk towards Castle Whitestone. We make our way to the castle. Uh, the guards greet you and lead you inside, and within a few minutes, uh, Cassandra comes down uh, from the upper floor and goes, Percival, you've, you've returned. Uh, things are not going well. Uh, have you heard any news of of Iman and what has been transpiring there? No, we, we've been rather uh, focused in restoring our city. Why? Uh, yesterday, we were attacked by a group of chromatic dragons. The city is destroyed. Uh, there's just no simple way to say this, but we're under siege, we were afraid that Whitestone would be destroyed as well, but it seems that uh, they have passed over you so far. But we fear for many cities' safety. Uh, 
um, I was hoping that it would be all right if we moved a small number of refugees through to Whitestone for the time being. Uh, less than a hundred, I yes. imagine. Oh, no, that, that These are the first fine. 20 some odd that we've pulled through. And she kind of looks behind you and looks at the crowd and kind of snaps her fingers and some of the guards step forward and she goes, please, if you would uh, make sure to find any of the various unoccupied buildings are provided to these refugees. Thank you, and the guards <laughs> nod and begin gathering the group and sending them back into town and she kind of gives you a look back and says, uh, for better or for worse, we happen to have a number of vacancies in the city due to recent events, but... Uh, oh, well, yes. Nothing I... Anything I should know about. No, just... Uh, just what? We've, we've lost been. many in the struggle against the Briarwoods. Um, but yes, they will be provided for, I assure you. So I will let you know to stop all business with Iman for now. Be very wary. Prepare the city for a possible dragon attack. Uh, things are looking dark. Yes, yes. Uh, and if it's possible, any research, uh, any energy that can be put forward towards mounting some sort of defense against these creatures would be greatly appreciated. Right, right. Um, well, we had a, f a, a few individuals that were researching the ziggurat beneath the city. Uh, two left a while back, and we had one arrive just the other day. Who, who arrived the other day? Uh, I cannot recall his name. Uh, he's realm seeker, realm seer. Let's go right there. Not, not, you're not there. <laughs> uh, I can, I can. Please I can bring, bring me to him. All right, uh, and Cassandra leads you uh, down into the city again, and um, one of the houses has been provided. She knocks on the door, and the door opens, and you see stepping out uh, an older gentleman who you've heard of, but. Uh, not really had an encounter with since, no, no, actually, you encountered him for the final ritual that took the phylactery from Grog's chest. Oh my uh, god. But this is uh, Realm Seer uh, Eskarine Darien, uh, the Archmage that basically was one of the uh, folks who lived within Westrun and was called to Whitestone as That's part of the research. That's some pre-stream stream yeah. stuff, everybody. As the door opens, he kind of comes out, his eyes kind of adjusting the light, and you can see the interior is very dark. He's one of those kind of lives in light, <laughs> lightless territory type person. Comes out with his round spectacles around his nose, and his, his robe is kind of disheveled and kind of bundled up over his shoulders. He goes, yes, if I may be of service. Um, We've met. You look very familiar. Quite, yes we have. You're the, um, you're those shits, weren't you? <laughs> uh, Unfortunate yes. title you've chosen. Uh, long gone, thankfully, long gone. Good. Vox Machina is, is as well. Vox Machina, saying. glad you took my suggestion. We, yes, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, uh, what, can, what can I do for you? Um, uh, first of all, how goes the research into the... Uh... Frustrating, to say the least. Um, it appears that this entire, and he kind of walks back into the house expecting you guys to follow, and as you enter, immediately you're hit with the smell of sage and other uh, burning herbs, and you can see there's a vast number of books that are strewn about the table in front, and, uh, and the fire, and the fireplace in the back is like pouring smoke up into the, the roof area and starting to gather on the stonework on the outside. And uh, it looks like there's two or three different kettles going off with different types of tea, and it's complete chaos in here. But he seems to be in control of most of it, at least. So he goes, uh, "From best we can ascertain, this is some sort of um, a." a uh, a magical siphon device. It has prevented us from uh, utilizing any sort of uh, uh, ritualistic uh, endeavors in uh, ascertaining its nature. It's, it's quite perplexing. I'm uh, hoping to either head over to Wild Mount or perhaps uh, return to the Cobalt Reserve and perhaps find some uh, historical information about such an object, well, but uh, nothing in my current... Sir, I have some bad news for you. I hail from Iman which has been attacked by chromatic dragons. I'm sorry, what? Dragons have declared war on civilization. A group of dragons have destroyed our city, and they have destroyed other, other cities as well. Uh, we are in desperate need of powers to defend ourselves with. So I would be very careful and send forward Send word ahead of yourself before you travel anywhere. It may not be there by the time you get there. 
Well, I guess it's good that I um, moved my tower before I left. <clears throat> Things are looking grim, and I would ask that while you, if you intend to remain and work on your research on this anomaly beneath our city, perhaps thinking as to how it may be turned into a weapon for our use against these creatures would not be out of the realm of question. Hmm. And any information that you do have of the chromatic dragons would be invaluable. Any re research that can be done, we are at war. Ah. Uh. This is very disconcerting news. I will do what I can. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'd have to get back to the Cobalt Reserve. That is, um, that is where most of my research is completed. Um, it's Western? Let me see. Uh, uh, Jack! And he snaps his fingers, and you can see his, his manservant, Jack, who you've met before. Uh, a slick back, kind of darkish red hair, mustache. Uh, um, this was uh, a bit of very prim and proper type uh, manservant, well dressed, steps out of the shadows. Yes, my lord. <laughs> uh, if you would be so kind, uh, prepare me for travel. So, uh, pack Western, up this Western is no more, sir. Well, that's really frustrating. Yes. <laughs> really. <laughs> Extremely aggra yes, aggravating. I am unhappy with this circumstance. <laughs> How am I supposed to do my research without a place to do my research? Well, we, we hope that you'll find our winters here quite solitary and uh, convenient on that level. Things hmm. are looking grim. Oh, you wouldn't say that again. I uh. must go. I have other work to do to start preparing. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> <laughs> to start preparing for. Yes, yes, go conflict. do your thing! For good day, sir, and good luck to you. Should I find anything? How are I. Uh, whereabouts. We, where, where are you? We don't know yet, but we will be returning here. That does not help me. I. Uh, get a, get will a, do Cassandra, my best. Cassandra will be able to get a hold of me if necessary. Ah, Cassandra. All right. Someone of use around here. I'm going to go find my sister and make my way to the stone. All right, he, kinda, he doesn't even say goodbye to you. He's like completely flustered. And it's funny for everyone who's like taken completely by the horror of the situation. He just seems really perturbed about the. Uh, inconvenience how, of yeah, all. it's so inconvenient. That library was. Why is it the internet to working? <laughs> oh, basically. Um, all right, you find your way to Cassandra again. Um, she, she's waiting outside of that room. Uh, I, I hope he's been helpful, brother. He he. No, he wasn't helpful, but it's it was very helpful one. in the way he wasn't helpful. Yes. It's a strange, strange. He's a very strange man. Everything's <laughs> going to be all right. I hope so. Thank you. Uh, I will return very soon. We will, again, with your permission, hopefully be using Whitestone as a place to regroup and prepare ourselves. Uh, is there worry that these dragons might come here? Yes. How will we stop them? You'll hide. Or... I have... I have thoughts. Perhaps of a weapon, I don't know, but we're going to find a way to stop them. We have to. I'm not good at being the bearer of any bad news, but this is very dangerous, and uh, well, I don't know what we're going to do. Steal an airplane. Neither do I. <laughs> they don't have an airplane. <laughs> well, stay safe, Percival. I shall return soon. Uh, I hope so. We'll do what we can in the meantime to see to your refugees and hopefully try and prepare ourselves. There'll be a case. few more through possibly tomorrow. All right. With we'll word. We'll be prepared. Thank you. <sighs> see you soon. Kind of reaches out and puts her hand on yours again and looks at you sternly in the face and goes, be careful. I will. It's all I have left. And Cassandra, I'm proud of you. You're doing very well here. <laughs> so the ways to go, brother. We'll get there. She hands you the gate stone. And with that, it's a slight popping sound. As you're uh, in a very soft bit of bluish purple light, your body just kind of slowly subsides and fades into nothing before it just <laughs> vanishes out of existence. Uh, as you guys are back at the keep, suddenly, uh, who has the gate stone? As you're kind of holding it, it begins to kind of shake in your hand and give off this kind of warm light. Oh, I think our reservation's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the what, seven remaining refugees? Uh, you have about eight or nine. 
Sorry you didn't make it through. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you'll be here forever. We'll get you there tomorrow. No big, don't More worry about it. More food for you guys, That's which so is LA A plus. <laughs> At which point now, Top of the wait list. There's, a, there's a slight smell of uh, like burnt cedar before the air itself begins to sound like a, a, a light hum of vibration as suddenly Percy's form <laughs> appears in the center of the room next to your gate stones. And both of the stones you guys are holding all of a sudden become white hot and you instinctively drop them before they tumble Cut. to the ground. Hey, they work. Fingers. They work. They hurt. <laughs> Good That's to know. Great. Yes. Did you see uh, your sister? I did. <laughs> Everything is fine up there. The research continues. Uh, they're happy to take people. It's wonderful. Um, so, and they're prepared for more. Um, they're also happy to be a base uh, of operations as we put things together. And you told them to make preparations in case something happens. Whatever preparations one can make for something like this, to be prepared to hide. <sighs> For now. Worst case scenario, they can go underground. Worst, yes. worst, worst case <laughs> scenario, they can go underground. Yes. They need to start <coughs> hiding food. They have to grow food. They haven't really recovered that yet. There's also. Uh, Hopefully, I hooked them up. There's also there. what? <clears throat> I have one of those terrible ideas I get on occasion. What is it? I love it. That thing beneath Whitestone could be a weapon. How? Ooh, that's true. Anything touching it disintegrates. Yeah, like so a dragon. Shoot it at something? No, I might not. be able to turn it into a projectile. <laughs> How would what? you turn it to a projectile? Are you okay? <laughs> that is a fun idea. That's a great <laughs> idea. A long-term right? idea. Just choking on Percy's idea. <laughs> I could make an anti-magic missile. A, 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 ma a magic missile? An anti-magic missile. An anti-magic missile? <laughs> An anti-magic missile. <laughs> one plus one plus two plus one. One plus two plus one plus I one. I have two plus one plus one. <laughs> That's a great idea. I've been um, I've been mulling it over. Could we uh, fire it from an airship of some sort? Yes, <laughs> I, it's actually part of the idea. <laughs> Percy, when I tried to touch that thing, it it was like it was sucking me in. It, I don't think that thing can be touched. How are you gonna? I'm, Turn it into a projectile. I have thoughts. I'm going to follow them through, and it may require some experimentation in the future, but I At think perhaps... At the cost of possibly your life? Uh, I no. take my life into my hands any time I build something. I think, I think that a non-magical approach to containing it might actually work. I think the problem well, is... Well, that's good, because it cancels out any magic. I think things. the problem is is that we keep trying to magic our way out of something that denies magic, and maybe I can engineer our way out of it. Have they, have they found anything out? Did you get any updates? A little bit of information. There'll be more later. I'm, I'm going to take a look at all the data and see if it's possible. Should what? we go visit the class, please? <coughs> On oh, the back. please. I'm trying to be more open. Yeah, let's go. What time is it? Uh, this time, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty close to dusk. The sun is getting close to the mountain line. You probably have another hour of daylight. Okay. To the class? Go talk with them? Yeah, they're probably nocturnal anyway. That means they're around at night. Yes. They're not turtles. No. <laughs> they're, they're not turtles. Did you learn something new, Grog? What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> All right. That you guys heading calendar really worked out. Did. Yes, heading back into Amon? That. Is that what we're doing? We're really going. Everyone? Some? Yeah. I think All? Pike should stay behind and care for You seem to have reservations. Jax, are you okay going down there? You're marked for death by these people. <laughs> I've been down Jeez. there several times without knowing that. I know, I just feel like it might put you on she's, edge. She's not marked for death, she was marked for death. It's just awkward, it's awkward. I'm not a full-fledged member, they don't like me. I don't like them. Maybe I can become a member. Maybe you can. This is politics, you're not supposed to like them. Well, let's go then. Yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, you actually keep one. We you have guys two taking now. the tunnel, or are you walking in? Do you want to here, We're take the, the tunnel? We're taking <laughs> the, the, the secret entrance. Oh, come on, we've never even we haven't walked about. in yet. Garth Where are showed the... us a secret entrance. He's waiting for us and having them prepare our way. This could get Where's bad. Where's the airship? Hmm? Where's the airship? Um, now, are you guys walking through your tunnel into the city, is what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, that, yes. Yes, yeah. right, cool. yeah. yeah. We're not going to walk in the oats. <laughs> Isn't that a great idea? Tunnel? I can break cannons. Oh, what are we doing? Sorry. We're taking our secret tunnel into the city. Okay. All right. So. Gets us, kind of, sort of puts us in the wrong side of the city, but 
It's okay. <laughs> All right, what so. else are we gonna do? Walk Go through in. the main gate. <coughs> oh, how are you doing there? You okay? I'm good. Mm -hmm. right. Sorry, I just oh, I yes. got a piece of chip stuck. No, I'm gonna leave one with Vax. What is it? The gate stones. I'm giving Vax my gate stone. That's a good idea. Or and we what, can you, me or the other one? keeping you the other one. For now, it's a good right. idea. I want to hold on to it forever. He's the one who's going to get stuck in a room alone if they yeah. decide they don't we like it. Let's call this the Jenga stone. <laughs> <laughs> and moments of need. Jenga stone. Yeah. Remember, it takes about a minute to work. Is this, do I need to uh, <laughs> spend no. a little time with this? Or no. Just no. no. Um, however, it, it does work only once a day. Once a day. So, so have, after another good. long rest, you'll be able to use it again. All right, good to know. Got it, yeah. All right. All right, into the city. In your pants. In my so, put it in his pants. Get your rocks like you off. do. Half elven storage space. Um, you guys find your way back into Iman, utilizing your secret tunnel entrance, coming up through the uh, the false outhouse once again. Uh, you leave the chain behind, locking it up, and make your way into the city. Um, uh, cast pass without a trace on us. All righty, you guys. Uh, I'd like you all to make a stealth check. Whee! Shit. Yeah! Come on, giant blue nutball oh. dice. Yeah. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> oh, it fell out of my hand. I don't think it should count if it fell. Nope, too bad. Oh, that's me. Oh, I get it. advantage! <laughs> oh, and we got a plus 10, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. 33. 15. 35. 38. 35. Did you really roll Natural that 20. Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, With your plus 10? With no judgment, is Trinket coming? Trinket is staying with Pike. <gasps> That's a fine decision. Okay. Um, Mel hath frozen <laughs> over. Placing Trinket over here. Oh! Um, he's crying. <laughs> You're making he is your crying. Bear cry. So, as you guys I'm start dodging between the alleyways, making your way towards the north side of Iman, around side the. Uh, ruined interior of the Cloudtop District. Um, you instinctually begin to, and I'd say, who else has proficiency in uh, perception? Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys all start noticing there are what looked to be initially flocks of birds moving through the sky. Some of them are heading down into parts of the town in the distance. As you continue to push forward, one set of four in particular start heading overhead. You look up and you can see what appears to be a, a small cluster of about five or six uh, flying creatures. Not dragon-sized by any means, but either a very, very large bird or something of that degree. You can't make out the details as right now, as the sun's beginning to set, a lot of it's just dark against a uh, kind of red orange sky. Um, you kind of keep yourself at bay, Can wait for them to pass. Yeah. Oh, waiting for them to pass. Can we? Was, unless you want to do something. As else? a as a dragon favorite enemy, could I guesstimate what those wigged creatures are that would hang out around dragon? Could you determine if they're wyverns? Uh, yes, they are actually indeed wyverns. W wyverns. Wyverns, however you want to pronounce it. Wyverns, wyverns, uh, wyverns. Both work in my world, it's fine. Pronounce Jif. Yes. <laughs> Fight you. No, no. Um, <laughs> but yeah. They're, they're, di they're diving into the city and... You can see a few that dove into the city and just stayed there. And one group goes overhead. Um, and continues onward. Mm. Okay. Pushing forward, deeper into the city, you make your way through the Temple District and start pushing through Abadar's Promenade, once again retracing your steps from the day before. Uh, dodging through open areas as fast as possible to stay within the shadows. Um, all of you, all of you co darting in one of the alleyways as you turn behind you and you can see uh, your tiny-legged gnomish bard friend keeping his best, uh, keeping up as best as you can before his foot hitting a divot on the ground and falling face first into the ground, making just enough noise. Oh, sorry, sorry. You hear a little screech in the distance. Of, <laughs> and coming up on the rooftop, you can see kind of perched up there appears to be one wyvern that is kind of looking over down at the currently toppled 
gnome, and on top of the wyvern, you see what looks to be something riding it, something that is holding what looks like reins on the edge, something humanoid is glancing over, just a little enough of a shadow to see. He sees me, I see him? Looks down at you, yeah. Okay, I will, I will cast Hold Person on him. Okay. I don't know what he is, but I want him to stop. And Scanlan's the only one, we all see it? We all see uh, it. You all just barely see it looking over the edge as Scanlan's there left in the middle of the main walkway. Uh, that is going to be a natural 17 on the will save. They, there'll be an 18, what's your DC? Well, it's 17, but uh, the hand cone makes it 19. Do you think I have the wherewithal to use it? With having you fallen on your face, I'm going to say probably not, and since it wasn't specified, that would be a DC of 17. <laughs> so, so the creature seems to kind of rear back for a second, kind of shake its head, and you get a little bit of a look at the feature at this point, too. But it is humanoid, but you can see its outer body is not fleshy or smooth. It is scaled and bumpy. You can see ridges across the back of the head, and in one of the hands looks like some sort of a spear. Um, and immediately as it rears back, it puts its head up and goes, Kah! Kah! Oh shit. And the creature? Yeah, shit. riding on the back of the wyvern. And <laughs> I think it's like the airship. Um, yes. Awesome, mm-hmm. fucking velociraptors. Uh, I would like you all to roll initiative. Yes. yes. This is gonna Fight. be fun. Ooh. Fight. Fight. You should Fight. turn Fight. it into a bunny, Fight. Keyleth. Fight. Turn it into a bunny. Jesus Christ. I can do that today. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> oh boy. Not too good. Oh, yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> That's okay, they're up high. Not too good. Anyway. How high up is it? This is the music. Above the music. Fight, 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 Scanlan, as you were running across the thoroughfare, you tripped and fell that way. That's me. Uh, the rest of you <coughs> had fa- coming into this alley over here. <laughs> Currently, looking over the top of this rooftop, is this wyvern and its rider. I love that the rider's like, no. <laughs> it's fine. Go all right, riders. so. Huh. Alrighty, uh, that's gonna be 25 to 20? 26. 26. Uh, oh. uh, 20. 20? All right, 20 to 15. 18. Uh, let's see, next. Uh, 15 to 10. Thanks. No. 10 to 5. 8. Uh, no, 7. 5. <laughs> okay. Wow. 5. Uh. Uno. Oh. Whoa. Plus. How did you? For initiative? Oh, 6. Thanks for that. So you would be actually 10 of Oh, it's was so crushing. Just to see the number on the die. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> all righty. So, uh, currently with this uh, guy up on top of the rooftop, uh, Percy, you are first. Uh, so quick question, is he in flight or just sitting on the rooftop? Just sitting on the roof, perched on the edge. You can't even actually see him. Everyone else who's near the front can see, the, the few that made the check. You've got a little bit of movement up there, but you're just kind of out of view with the building you're right in an alleyway. There's no easy way up into the roof, is there? Uh, aside from a, a well-placed acrobatics check, you could try. Oh, that would be my whole movement too, wouldn't it, though? Most likely. Yeah, let's see. And how high is the roof? Uh, I'd say it's about anywhere from 16 to 20 feet tall. It's two-story, but it's not, a, you know. An I'm gonna, I'm gonna roof. try and get a, trying to get a vantage where. I, where I can at least get where he's only three quarter cover. So, like, I suppose I'm gonna head uh, south down the alley to see if I can get a. a Pushing for these guys. Yeah. Okay, so one. You can get two about there if you want. To. I can get a good good look at him there. You can see. Yeah, you have half cover from there. Half cover's fine. Uh, so if I were to knock him prone, would he fall off the roof, or or c- could I try and push him off the roof? These are my. Uh, for the wyvern or for the uh, the rider. The wyvern. 
you can try. It's it's hard pressed. He's sturdy on the side. Rockingham Pro might just fall over onto the rooftop. Who knows if it'll slide or not? It's your call. What do you want to try? Um, I'll try knocking him prone and see if that. Does okay. It. Uh, yeah, actually. Hmm. Do it. Yeah, it's either that or try and push him off the roof, which could be pretty funny. I'll try and knock him prone. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna use bad news because that's funnier. Okay. So you whip out. Take a <laughs> shot. Uh, that's uh, twenty-eight to hit. That'll hit. Uh, and that's a wing shot, so you have to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Against 18. Well, this is this is the wing or leg shot, right? Wing or leg shot. I'm right. sorry, it's, uh, actually, I'm sorry, I have the new sheet. Yeah, new uh, sheet on that one. Updated that. Uh, strength saving throw, so, sorry. Strength saving hey. throw against uh, 18. That's a natural 19 plus four for strength, so that's a 23 on the save. Mm -hmm. Still takes some damage. Still takes damage, though. Go ahead and roll. I'm going to take another shot at him, too, because F that. Um, that's, I was not quite prepared for this. 2d12 plus six. Uh, 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage, nice. All right. And I'm going to take a Reload, take another shot, and try and knock him off the roof. Go for it. The same shot? Same shot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh that's. Um, that's a uh, that's a uh, three. So that means that's I. A misfire. That's a misfire. So. Uh, <laughs> first shot. Bad news. <laughs> echoes the sound of the blast just uh, rippling through the nearby alleyways. The blast hits. Uh, the wyvern in part of its arm, psh, sending a spray of blood as it shrieks in pain. As you can see, this rider kind of has moved to the side, and you see what looks like a second head behind the rider um, from the reaction and movement. It looks like there's actually two of uh, these riders. creatures riding on the back of this this creature. Um, as you go to, to reload, bring bad news up again to fire a second time, you pull the trigger, and there's a thump sound, and you can see now a stream of smoke <laughs> pouring out the back of uh, the gun itself, and you're a little worried what this is going to do if you don't fix it soon. Look down the barrel. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I can use my, I actually can't do, uh, am I going to panic and try and fix this? Um, Next turn? That's your movement, that's your three attacks. Do you have a bonus, anything? I can, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to throw an action, action sur surge and see if I can, so I can fix this. Go for it, go ahead and make your, uh, your tinker check? Yes. Okay, yeah, so you, uh, 14. So you spend your action how <laughs> quickly you're trying to fix the gun and get bad news back. Uh, you manage to, to clear the barrel, get the pellet out as the rest of the team starts coming up with their turns. That'll okay. be the rest of your action. Okay, finishes Percy's turn. Grog, you're up. I'd like to hold my turn until it gets off the roof and maybe comes down to the ground. Okay, okay, good to know, good to know. Um, let's see here. Oh, it appears that my... Talson, can you do me a favor and hand me that box next to the sure. fridge there? Thank you. All right, so Grog, as you're doing that, the blasting sound of bad news that echoed through, you all of a sudden start <laughs> hearing other shrieks in the distance, Shit. like a call to arms of a number of other entities. Oh boy. As you see a multitude of other winged creatures begin to arise in the distance. Uh, I shouldn't have gotten in that box, should I? Yeah, we, we could Got just... in the box? We could always run, too. Could. How far are we from the... Tunnel the system. Uh, Far. Your ways. Uh, ways. Probably a good, uh, a good twenty-five minute run. Uh, 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 uh. There's another one on the roof over here. Run. We could always go in. And the there's building. one on the on this roof here. Each one of them with their own riders as well. Shit. Now, uh, Shit. these. All right. So for this turn, this one leaps oh. off <laughs> and swoops down here to where Percy is while both of its riders leap off to the side. One that leaps off and rushes over to Scanlan on the ground, and this other one that gets right up next to Percy. Uh, this one goes flying forward Jesus. and lands in the center to about there, where it two of its riders leap off. This one kind of stays up in the air over this way in a flanking position, or in, a, in just a, a visual perspective with two of its riders on its back. 
put them there for the time For clarification, being. does this count as turns, or are they, since they're coming late to the party, or this is just them in position? This is them now entering the fray. Okay. Um, are they into the initiative order, just gameplay talk? Uh, yeah, well, this is the initiative I rolled for, uh, for them okay. after being called by the guy who was already shouting out into oh, the air. Right, right, right. You just didn't see them before, given right. your perspective. Spoke raptor. Like a um, raptor. Kitchen, dress. These guys. <laughs> there, okay, so we have first uh, the wyvern that swooped down on you, Percy, is going to go ahead and make a uh, attack with its bite and an attack with its stinger as a multi attack. So the first oh, strike uh, that is going to be a the bite suck. thirteen that does not hit. The stinger, however, is a nineteen. I'm going to use my uh, my uh, uh, amulet of the shield and. Up my AC for that attack to 23. Okay. So. Yeah, so that will miss. So that uses amulet. Good to know. So the, the stinger goes to strike you after the bite misses, and as you clasp your chest, you can see now an arcane barrier just shines in front of you and completely uh, ricochets the stinger out into the air to the side as it kind of yeah. reacts angrily. Um, the other uh, giant humanoid lizard creature um, that's coming towards you with a, a giant heavy club. Uh, is going to attempt to slam you with it. There's so many things. Twice. I'll attack you with this, this club. That's going to be a 17. Nope. And then it's going to try and slam you with a spike shield. That is 15. Yep. So that guy just starts swinging at you. <laughs> Let's see. I'm I'm sort out. I'm just yeah. All right. Attacking you, Scanlan. Oh shit. Uh, the one that's on the ground there. All right. So he has two attacks against you with advantage. With advantage. Because you're prone, you're on the ground. Jesus, God. Oh, uh, that'll be a 24 to hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and the spike shield is going to be uh, 24 again, actually. Oh, no. So as you're on the ground, it slams you with the shield for ooh, uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And Why didn't I bring Trinket? I know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the shield slams you for eight points of piercing damage. So a total of 20 points of damage. It just whack, slams you in the ground twice. I thought this was a stealthing mission. It was until you rolled a 15 stealth. <laughs> blame me, blame me. <laughs> um, those weapons are too far away for combat. The other guys are just kind of assessing the scenario here. Um, okay, there is one fellow over here mm -hmm. that is a bit far away who steps off. He's, instead of holding the same clubs and shields or other various hacking weapons, he's carrying kind of a gnarled staff. Oh, shit. Steps forward and sees the weapon that you fired twice and have been fixing this large, metallic, uh, dangerous entity. Looks forward and begins hissing under his breath. Why do I see this? You do. I'm going to release oh, my... Oh, you, you are being slammed on the ground. I'd say make, make a perception check, actually, to okay. see if you see this. Because you are currently nineteen. Yes, actually, I will say you do see this. I will release my counter spell. Okay. I assume he's casting something. He is actually uh, <laughs> or has a good a terrible man. cold. <laughs> man. And I, I will. I will sing at him. And you still haven't hit what you're aiming for. <laughs> It's a second level spell, it is, it is dispelled immediately. Yeah. As it attempts to heat metal on your weapon, you can see as the metal begins to glow for a moment and you can feel the heat welling in your hand, all of a sudden the spell is shattered like the sound of thin glass in the distance as Scanlan shouts to intercept its arcane ability. Um, that is going to end their opening turn. That brings us down to the initiative order. Vex, you're up. Oh, I think Grog was Oh yeah, Grog, you're holding your action for Well, can I barrel down through the alley now that someone's on the ground and uh, race towards the one that's nearest Percy? I'll say sure. Uh, usually going forward, if you hold your action, that's just your action, not your movement. You still move to uh, the situation, but I'll, I'll let it stand for this, it's fine. I'll remember that going forward. Yeah. So you're just gonna tear down to this forward. guy there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'd like to... <laughs> And I would like to swing twice with um, with Craven. Go for it. Yeah. Still maintaining your bonuses from last game, by the way. <gasps> you haven't taken a short oh my rest gosh. yet. Yes, indeed. Muscles are bulging. He's bolting. so strong from the last game. Plus, uh, that's twenty-six. Twenty-six hits. And uh, fourteen on the second one. Uh, fourteen does not, does not hit. Okay. Cool. So this is the great weapon master. No, these are just. Are you attacks? Yeah. Are you in rage yet? I raged. Oh. Yeah, I get to that. Did you rage? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I did not. Do you want to rage as party bonus action to this? 
Polak to rage. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. All right. So his bonus action go into rage before strike. Let's go for it. 12, 22, 22. Oh, wait. Yep, 22. 22 damage. All right. And. Your second strike missed. Oh, that's right. <laughs> That's it. 22. So you rush forward and slam, slam the sword into the side of uh, the lizard creature. It puts its shield up and it manages to block most of the blow, but it still slides off and slams into part of its uh, neck area. It shoves the blade out. However, uh, <laughs> it fails its save. Yes! You're taking a strength point off of it. So add that to what you have now. What's your strength currently? Uh, 22. So it goes up another plus one to attack and damage. Good God. <laughs> if it just became 22, it does. Yes, it did. All right, Grog, ends your turn. Vex, you're up. Ridiculous. I hope they have some kryptonite. Is there anywhere I can stand that I get a good cone shape on some of these? Uh, or am I all blocked in? You're, you can try and move through. You might get an attack opportunity from the guy that's attacking Grog. Okay, how high are the roof? is the roof next to me? Uh, it's about 16, 20 feet. Could I acrobatics that shit up? You can try to. Go for it. Okay. Parkour. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> 31? Yeah. Yeah, Rogue. With that, you look over and see the rooftop up there. You leap off each side, Ninja Gaiden style, American Ninja. up onto the rooftop with a very, very solid view of the entire battlefield before you, including yeah, the one flying uh, creature up there. Oh. Okay, then I'm gonna Hunter's Mark the uh, magic user. Alrighty. Oh. But, um. And I'm gonna conjure barrage. Whoa! In a cone to get as many of those fucks Naruto. as I can. Who's okay, it's a sixty-foot cone. Naruto barrage. Right there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sorry, right. Scanlan. It will be Scanlan as well. Oh balls! Deal with it. <laughs> I'm a little man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, go ahead and uh, roll for that. That's a saving. Three d eight. Yep, roll three d eight damage. Okay. Three d eight damage. Yeah. <laughs> Not that much. On me. <laughs> 11, 16, and then an extra six on that guy. Right, right. An extra six. Okay, so he makes right. a save. Does not. Do I have to make a save? So, yeah. Yes, you do. What kind of save? Uh, this would be a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, I'm on the ground. Oh. Nope. That's a one. That's a nine. You failed. Yes. You take 16 points of. Uh, <laughs> Any points of damage from that uh, to fail and uh, success. Uh, 16. So great. Wyvern makes it. Tap that for eight. And fails. All right, cool. Got it. So as you go forward, leaping on top, you mark the one guy, turn around, and then release a torrent of arrows that just sprays into the center of this open uh, pathway in the city. Um, I believe that ends your turn. Yes, it does. All right, that brings us to Scanlan. Oh, me? Yep. Balls shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the ground. If I stand up, that's my action? That's half your movement. movement. That's half my movement. Yeah. Okay, I will stand up. He doesn't get to hit me, right? Not unless you move away from him. Okay. Um, who, which riders are still on their beasts? Uh, these two are the only two that are still on the beast. All right. Then I will, left off. I will hand cone it up, I will ignore the guy right next to me, and I will hand cone it up, and I will... He's got two riders? Yeah, they're both kind of like, they have the, these kind of uh, ramshackle, you can see now, the close look, these, these leather kind of saddles, but they're mostly just like thrown leathers that are strapped to its back, and there's two of them currently holding onto these knobs in front to stay on. Two, two riders? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Scanlan. I guess I'll just dominate one of them. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. main guy. Can you yeah. dominate the beast? Uh, he's not a person. Just dominate person, dominate uh. monster. They're two different things. <laughs> I'm going to dominate the, the guy in front. Okay. <laughs> Maverick, not Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Maverick and Goose. Well, in the end, it was Hollywood, wasn't that his? No, that was Merlin. Merlin? Yeah, but no, Tim Robbins. No, Merlin was the teacher that they, knocked, that they got in trouble Tim when he spun out. That was Viper. Hollywood was the guy that he was his. You don't want to do this, this with me. This is the first conversation <laughs> I've ever been in in this group you where see, I feel young. You see the writer screeching down while it's holding on, all of a sudden it kind of shakes its head Goose for a minute oh. and looks down at you, eyes connected, and you know that this entity is waiting for its command. Okay. Can I only give it one command per turn? 
Uh, you mean you can get a, a basic command and it'll follow through unless you wanted to directly control it. Well, I've got two things to do. Right? He's got to get rid of that fucker on his back and also <laughs> other things. Let's just go for the big kahuna. I command him to ride his beast to attack the one below him, the, the, the wyvern below him. Okay. All right, good to know. All right. And uh, do you want to stay where you are? You want to move? Uh, no, I don't want to move because he'll hit me. <laughs> um, that would be bad. How, who hasn't gone? You haven't gone? I haven't. Um, Vax hasn't gone. Uh, Vax hasn't gone. Oh my no. god. Because he rolled a one, remember? Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I, I will inspire Vax with okay. my inspiration. And I will say, this is ground control to Major Aww. Vax. You've really made the blade. <laughs> <laughs> and the papers want to know whose cloaks you wear. Whose in. blood you spilled. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can take a D10 inspiration die, Vax. Yes. Okay. Of Axiom. Rest in peace. You just lost. All right. That ends Scanlon's turn. Uh, Vax, you're up. Uh, so I'm having trouble seeing the battle map. Uh, Grog is right against a, a wyvern, right? Uh, Grog is against a, a lizard-like a creature. Oh, so not against a wyvern. Uh, no, that's a little further right. away. But Percy uh, is next to a wyvern. And, per, oh, so Percy is right there? Correct, yes. And Scanlan's next to the uh, the uh, magic user, right? No, magic user's over here, that's been Hunter's uh, Mark. But, the, but uh, Scanlan's up against a dude, awesome. right? Yes. All right, so what I want to do is uh, slink up behind Percy, Reach mm -hmm. over, oh, no, I want to click my boots of haste, is what I want to do. Uh, sure. Did you use them during the battle against the looters? I don't think so. I don't remember him doing that. No, I didn't. No. Okay, no, I didn't. Go. I okay. definitely didn't. Then yes, because you I remember kicking myself for, uh, for, I definitely didn't. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so click, <laughs> everybody starts moving slow around me. Uh, I want to, so Percy's against the wyvern, I want to reach over Percy's shoulder and stab the wyvern. And then I want to throw another dagger at the dude standing next to Scanlan. On this side there, you mean? Yeah. Well, I can't tell. I can't see shit. Is that over Percy's shoulder? Uh, in order to... Because right now you're being blocked, you can't quite get to the wyvern unless you move around the building that you're at. But I could go around it, yes. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to stab the uh, wyvern in the butt, and then I'm going to throw a dagger from my other hand at the, the guy standing next to Scanlan. And so I have a, a question for you. Yes. Because both of them have somebody who's running interference. Do I get sneak attack damage on both? You only get one sneak attack damage per turn. Just per turn. Once per turn. All right, so I'm going to use sneak attack damage on the Wyvern if I get it. Go and, for it. Uh, yeah. So first strike against it, as you whoosh, whip around the side of the building, uh, blades out. 25. That hits. And then for the dude by Scanlan gets uh, 19. Ooh. Yep. Okay, so... If you have both blades out, you get a third attack, too, don't forget. Uh, I do, I will, yes. Uh, so this, the third uh, stab will go back into the wyvern. Okay, so which the sneak attack against the wyvern, first strike. Yeah, okay, So and the, the last one was a 24 total, so that hits as well. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's two, four, 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 six, nine, yes. That's 14, 17, 22, 23, 25, 27, 29, into the wyvern. All right. And then uh, the jerk over by Scanlon gets uh, seven. Yes. Uh, and then the wyvern takes another, and my king dagger takes another nine. All righty. So as you rush around, you stab uh, the wyvern in the back of its, of its, its haunches, and you see it streaks. And Peng looks over its shoulder and starts like kind of biting its tail and stinger swinging about, but you avoid it, fling the other dagger to the side, and then jam the other side of its haunches with your other hand. Um, it's definitely aware of your presence now. Did I use up all my movement? Uh, nope. Knowing that it can swat at me, I'm going to try to go right back around where I came from. All right. And I'm wearing the cloak of displacement. Okay. It's going to swing at you with disadvantage. Just call it cloak number seven. <laughs> That's a two on the first roll, so yeah, that misses you. Yeah. <laughs> it's stinger swings out towards you, and you just duck underneath it, it slams into the side of the building, breaking part of the wood, and you can see splinters kind of fly out into the middle of the road. Um, that ends your turn? Yeah. All right, Keyleth, you're up. Okay. Um, oh, boy. What is, how far away am I from this guy? Like, f roughly, how many feet? Uh, roughly, which guy? The, the guy who's in the air flying. I'd say so. about 60, 65 feet. Beautiful. I want to move just up and around, kind of, oh shit, like kind of 
here-ish. Okay. Uh, sorry, I've got this thing in the way. Back a little bit. Scoot back. What? Uh, is that still in your path? No, he's um, my he's my guy. He's your oh. Well, I'm not gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna you you dominated the guy. I dominated the guy. Should I turn the wyvern into a, a something I else? I Should I polymorph him? He, I guess he's dom you are dominating that guy. Are there, is there anything else that's Flying? He's the only one that's up in the air at last, yeah, right? Yeah, all, all the other wyverns have landed and let their riders off onto the sides. So you just commanded him to attack the one below you, right? I'm gonna turn that wyvern into a uh, chicken! This Which? one? Yes. Okay. What's the uh, save Oof. on that? He has to make a wisdom save. That is a seven. Bam! Uh -huh. And with uh -huh. that, <laughs> <laughs> wyvern. <laughs> Twice now. Egg, egg. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is my favorite game, you guys. <laughs> the bane of wider, wyverns everywhere. <laughs> Trying, yes. As the, both the riders kind of tumble off, um, slamming into the ground. Um, that would be. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it's a chicken. All right, 10 points of damage to the wyvern, which kills the chicken form entirely. Uh, it turns back into a wyvern on the oh, ground, taking good. the access three damage. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Shit. Shit. What? Should I turn Do I keep that hold of my guy? Yeah. Uh, like a bird or a bat both, or something. Both so you of your of the riders fall also. They both Fuck. take an addition, additional from the fall. God damn it. Head uh, trauma. So 14 points of damage to each of them from the nice. fall. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, it took damage, uh, and they're on the ground now. Let's see if the... Which it takes damage, it makes a new saving throw against the spell. It does not make it, oh. so it's still dominated. Okay, thank god. You're good. I didn't fuck everything really up this time. But they are all, all three of chicken. them are considered chicken. prone right. currently. Yeah. So they're all knocked prone. Cool, all right. that's my turn. That ends Keyleth's turn. At the top, Percy, you're up. Um, okay, where am I? I can't see. You're right here, you're kind of blocked in between the two buildings at the mouth of the alleyway with a wyvern and a lizard creature like right there standing before you. Okay, I don't have, I have no advantage on any of these bastards nope. at the moment if I were to attack. Okay, that's fine. Um, and how would you describe the, these, the, these are like scaly people? Uh, this up close and personal, they're humanoid uh, in build. They have, you know, stand up upright. They have long tails, uh, ridges across the head. They're bigger than an actual human and they're very muscular. Um, and the more you look at it, you can see that their clothing, they have tattered, Cloth and leathers that have been haphazardly dyed in blood and gore to all be a very, very deep red color. Um, and they're pretty uniform across what they're wearing. Um, they're an army. Team colors. I think you've kind of got that one guy covered at the moment. So I'll concentrate on the. Hmm. Tough call, tough call. You know what? I'll have a little fun. I'm going to pull out my sword and I'm going to take a slash at the, uh, at the guy who's involved with. Uh, all right, go for it. Uh, that's 21. 21 hits. Uh, oh, uh, bef oh, shit, I forgot to use my bonus action. Can I pop in a quick bonus before that? To what? Uh, hex him. You've already hexed today. You used it in the battle versus the looters. Oh, it's same day. That's right, it's yeah. still the same hour. Oh, uh, it can only do it once a day, right? Only do it once a day, okay, it's part of my beat, unfortunately. That's Sorry. fine, I can just do a little thing. So, just, <laughs> just to add to this, would he be described in anywhere on his little D&D little card as something with a dragon keyword? Uh, nope. So I'm just going to do normal damage to him. Yes. Okay. So. Wyverns, however. <laughs> All right, just checking. Um, I'm going to do nine points of damage, slashing damage to him. Alrighty. And I'm going to turn to the wyvern and take two slashes at the wyvern. Go for it. First is. Ugh. Uh, 14. 14 hits. Yep. Wow. They're, they're second hit points, but they don't have a whole lot of armor to them. Uh, that's. Plus uh, 26 points of damage. Nice. And second shot. Of course, I can attack you. Yeah. Uh, 13, 20, 24, that hits. Uh, 10, 17, 18, 19, 26 points of damage. Six twice in a row. So, with this, you pull the sword out. As soon as you see it in the proximity of the wyvern, the blade itself almost seems to shimmer with this, this gleam of green on it, like, and the, the metal almost seems to bend and wave with your movements. And as you turn back around to slash at the wyvern, the blade just 
cuts through it like butter. There's not even resistance. It just goes right through its flesh with each slash of the long sword. You can see the large chunks of its muscle kind of coming visible as parts of its body are now being pulled from uh, the, the muscle and sinew. Uh, it shrieks in pain, and you can see it angrily now starting to get ready to rake at you pretty heavily. Um, is that in your turn? That's my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Grog, you're up. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna continue what I started on shit fuck right in front of me. Okay. <laughs> but I would like to go great weapon master and I would like to use a uh, reckless attack. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Reckless. So your first attack against him? <laughs> That's a 31. Roll damage on that. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, he fails his save, so you get another plus one to your strength. Um, and that swing just cleaves it in two. The, it goes right through its midsection, and it kind of and tumbles yes. off. Another guy next to the uh, Falling to the ground. Grog Excellent. Oh my god, Grog. Grog is full juicing. Oh, I no. told you he'd open up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Arnold. <laughs> you can move in now. With your movement and do your next attack if you'd like. Uh, I'll go ahead and take care of that wyvern that's next. Go for it. All right. So now you get your next attack. He's natural twenty. Twin, I'm having a oh! oh! <laughs> Go ahead and uh, roll damage. <laughs> Is his strength go up to hundred? So, so it's, it's double your first dice roll. Oh, and so the the two d six was nine plus five is so eighteen. Fourteen plus eleven. So 29 plus two additional die rolls. 10. Okay, so we're at 39. 39. And then uh, one more? Because you rolled 2d, it's twice because we rolled critical. That's right. Oh my Jeez, you got like Tetsuo arm. It's just like five times bigger four. than it should be. Four for those two. Do I plus five to that as well for the? Uh, well, plus, plus 10 for your, you already added that for your uh, yeah, it's 2d6 plus 5 on each one, and then the... Not for, it's just the additional 2d6 gotcha. each time. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, with that, you turn around after hacking its friend, leaping forward, the foam at the corner of your mouth, your eyes kind of bloodshot and angry. You take the blade and sweep it down, and it plunges itself right into the wound that Percy had left open with his sword swing, finding no resistance before it comes all the way to the hilt in the body of the wyvern, which shrieks for a moment. Before its breath stops and its body falls limp. Yeah, one down. Does that mean get to kill it does again? make it save, though. What? One save. He doesn't oh, suck so his strength out of it. Oh, oh, yeah, and on Great Weapon Master on a crit or kill, I get an extra hit, but I guess uh, that was. As a bonus trick. action. So, if, and, yeah, which, which for the record, one forward, if you know, if you're frenzy raging, it doesn't really give you a benefit. Right. But, uh, but if you're not, it does help. Um, so, theory, you could if you wanted to try and chuck it. <laughs> if I wanted to just throw it. Just, just, woof, woof, woof. Don't throw it. No, I'm I'm gonna gonna I'll wait, I'll wait. Guy right in front I'm good, of me. I'm good, right. I'm good. Ends Grog's turn. All right, now, these guys both get up. Um, currently, no longer on the Wyvern. Do you want to give it another uh, kind of a thought if you see it land? Get on the Wyvern and kill the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy gets up on the Wyvern, grabs its reins, pulls it forward, and jams it with its spear as it leads it inward. It kind of runs forward and uh, is going to take a swing. <laughs> it's going to take a swing with its stinger at the one behind it. It's confused and figuring out what's, why is it doing this, and it's more of like, this might work once. Um, that is going to be a 17, it hits. <laughs> That's going to be 11 points of damage. Does it make it save? It does not make it save. That's an additional 24 <laughs> points of poison damage on that one. Woo! So that's 35 points of damage from one wyvern to another. <laughs> As this guy immediately whips around angrily. You have pleased me. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these guys go charging forward oh, here. Jesus. Oh no, was Oh Cameron. Jesus! <laughs> Four is gonna pull up its javelin and chuck it at you. Oh. Uh, Vex? Me? Yeah. Uh, that is no, gonna me? miss you at a 12. It <laughs> throws a javelin, it just arcs past you. Uh, the uh, this one over here is going to come forward, and it's going to take a javelin as well out and chuck it right at you, Grog. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, that is a twenty to hit. Hits. You take ten points of piercing damage, reduced to five. As you basically just <laughs> <laughs> snap it off and grin in its face. Um, I'm going to uh, turn that favor in a second. 
Uh, and then, let's see. Grog is on god mode. Yeah. Shaman here. <laughs> Save game plus. <laughs> is going to, now it sees the danger that you're in, looks at you, uh, sees you just hack through the center of one of those wyverns, intensely looks at you and begins casting another spell. Oh shit. Um, oh. Like it is wont to do. Is so, it? Come on, smart grog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that, the, the uh, craven edge as you're holding it. All of a sudden, the handle becomes white hot, and you immediately take uh, six points of fire damage, okay. just holding it. Grip it harder. <laughs> Fire's biting through. Um, three attacks against you, Scanlan. Oh, God. No. Uh, currently, two of them of which are flanking you, so they're going to get advantage on the attacks. Oh, my God. So that's a natural 20 on one of them. Whoa. That guy, this guy is Whoa. 18. That hits. And then this guy here without the advantage still hits with a 17. Uh, I'm going to use cutting words on the last guy. Okay. I'm going to just. <laughs> Ah, ah. To, to distract him. Ah. Okay, go ahead and roll a d10. D10. <laughs> uh, which one's 10? I never remember this one. Nine. Okay, uh, so he rolled, uh, it was a 17 plus seven, that would have been a 24. It brings in a 15, which I believe Does misses you. Me. So the last strike, as it swings towards you, the shrilling tones, it causes him to like reach up and grab one of his kind of lizard-like ear holes. And <laughs> The swing just goes wild, completely over your head. However, as you duck down, you look up as you see the shadow come down of two large clubs that no. woof, over the head Ow. of your tiny gnomish form. Uh, that's going to be. Uh, 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 oh, oh, that's not get, a good sound. Uh, oh, and they also get bites after this too. It don't look oh, good. No. All right, so you take twelve. Let's just double to twenty. Or no, sorry, twelve. Uh, twenty points of bludgeoning damage from one. Uh -huh. You take twelve points of damage from the other. So 32 points damage total. Huh? Yeah. And they're both going to attempt to bite you as well, with advantage. <laughs> bite with advantage? Flank. That is uh, 20 on the first one. That's the damage it does? That's no, that's the hit. hit. Okay. And that one's going to double 19, so they both hit. Uh, so you take oh. another 20 points of damage total of piercing damage as they both just ha start tearing into your body. 52 <laughs> points of damage just then? <gasps> no, it's no, 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 no. I thought you said, you, I thought you had 55. You had 55. I did. 52! 52 total. You have three points left. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was close, guys. <laughs> I saw my mother. <laughs> uh. <laughs> then I saw myself at math class failing. I need you to make. I need you to make a bunch of co a concentration checks here. Oh yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maintain a bunch. control over it. Yeah. Uh, advantage on concentration checks. Yes, yeah, so just roll two at a time. Oh, uh, two what's? Two d20s. Okay, well, I only have one d20. Constitu adding your constitution modifier to it. Uh, how many? Wait, oh, for each thing each that. Oh, yeah. Constitution modifier, holy god. Okay, I, I'm counting both those. The first one's only 12. Uh, 12. That, that'll that work, because none of them's done, only one of them did 20 damage, and it's minimum of 10. So as long as you get above a 10 with each one, you're fine. Okay, so I gotta do two more? Yeah, yeah that's 16 plus two. Okay, another one. 17 plus okay, two. another one. Two plus two. But you have an advantage. Did, did, did that have a two? Oh. Was, advantage on these. Seven plus two, nine. Nine, no nope. No so bueno. With, with that, you lose your concentration on the domination spell. As that fades. So close. Hey, I'm hey, alive, guys. Hey, the other Weaver is still mad at the first one, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's so, just... that ends their turn. Vex, you're up. Oh man. Okay. You see Scanlan just being tossed around on the ground, <gasps> oh. and you see streaks of blood in the air as one of them like tears a big chunk out of his shoulder. Yeah. And he looks up at you briefly, his eye kind of half <laughs> open. Scanlan, I got you. No, no, I know you did. You you shot me on the last oh. turn. I remember. Shh. <laughs> yeah, you shoot, got me good. You got me good. I shoot for my uh, my bow, the Sky Sentinel. Um, uh, Sky Sentinel, I believe, did you use that last battle? 
Fuck. I'm pretty sure you did. <coughs> but yeah. I only use my burning thingy once. Correct. You have so one, one more that. use of okay. your burning bow strength. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna move my hunter's mark um, to one of the guys around Scanlan. Okay. You want to say the, the most wounded of them? Yeah, sure. That would be. Or the oh. least wounded of them, actually. The least wounded would be this one. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot arrows. All right. All right. I'm gonna shoot, shoot um, through my blazing bowstring um, on that guy and the guy in front of him. Okay, right there and there. Yeah. So blazing bowstring and then regular. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So I forget how to do that. I rolled the attack. <laughs> yes. Why is this so hard? Okay. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Okay. I'm gonna roll damage on that one, which is ten plus my normal eight. Uh, uh, 12, 14 plus six for Hunter's Mark. 14, uh, 20 plus six for sneak attack, bitch. Did you just call the DM a it's bitch? True. No, I was calling that guy a bitch. <laughs> Matt is An additional does not deserve that. Six D6, so that's 25 <laughs> damage against the first guy. 25 damage, that's just enough. <laughs> Him, that, that sneak attack was just what you needed. That was the last bit of damage. Yay! Okay, so the second guy. Uh, is uh, another 18. Another 18? That Actually, hits. no, that's a 20, whatever. That yeah. hits, it's fine. Um, okay. 16. Do I get sneak attack on him too? Because he's sneak still- sneak attack once per turn. Dang it. So 16 damage against that guy. 16 damage, okay. So this arrow, the first one just hits it in the neck and it kind of gurgles as it falls to the ground and bleeds out from the floor next to the scale. And the other one, uh, the arrow strikes it in the middle of the shoulder blades and it Kind of arcs up in pain, but it's still standing. Though it's like having to really move around with much, uh, much pain in its face. Okay. Um, that end your turn. You gonna stay up there? Um, I'm gonna, yeah. All right. Staying up on the rooftop, just sniping down. Good call. Uh, that brings us to Scanlan. It's my turn. Yep. Make a potion. Heal yourself. Oh yeah. Scanlan. If I had a potion, that would be great. Uh, I will do thunder wow. wave. Thunder wave at, <laughs> at third level. Thunder wave at third level, all right. <laughs> Sent you in the right. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, 4d8 thunder damage to all the ones on a failed save. So their constitution saves here. Is this through a hand cone? Sure, man. <laughs> I figure it's uh, both fail. What is it, 4d8? Uh, it's 4d8. Thunder damage, they have pushed 10 feet away from you. One, nice. two, three. Did they all fail? Yes. Did they both fail? Yeah. So this pushed this way. Here, I'll just do push that way. Back. 10. 17. 17 points of damage to each. Okay. Uh, they're <laughs> blasted back, we're barely catching themselves on their feet, and from the impact, you can see a little bit of like red colored leather armor they have on is just. Tattered and destroyed, you can see blood pouring out of the sides of their ear holes where the thunderous blast puffs, puffs possibly burst their eardrums. Uh, and they're both kind of like shaking their head. <laughs> All right. Bonus action I will healing word myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can do that at higher levels, yes? Yeah. I'll do it at a level four. Okay. And I will sing to myself, sort of sadly, <laughs> pathetically. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. They never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. Jesus. I get up again. Cake is never so good. They never gonna keep me down. All right, so that is a 4d4 plus 5. Okay. Healing to yourself. 4d4 plus 5. Ooh. Uh, that's 14, 14 plus 5, 19. 19, so you heal yourself 19 hit points. Okay, thank god. That ends your turn. Up next, Vax. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm going to uh, scramble up to the top of the building that I'm right next to. Acrobatic check. Uh, sure. Parkour, parkour. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way high. Uh, 20, 30, 33. Yeah, you, you parkour up the side, land on top of the <clears throat> rooftop, kind of leap across, and you're now at the edge. Okay, is that Percy right there? That's Percy right there. Uh, okay, I'm actually, oh, who's right directly uh, in a Below row you. away from me? Yeah, I can't it's tell. That's a bad guy. It's bad, bad guy. guy. That's bad guy, bad, bad guy. I saw, I want to run actually, and I want to jump off and land next to Percy. Okay. Yeah? 
I want to run straight by and I want to stab the dude. I'm going to run forward. Yeah, bup, 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 stab that guy. All right. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That is uh, 20. That hits. Okay. Run, 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 stab. Run, 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 stab. Uh, <laughs> Those are the two buttons on the Vax video game. Yeah. <laughs> run and stab. That's nine. Nine damage? Yeah. Ugh, you can shake him on the side. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep run, 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 run towards Scanlan, and I want to grapple him. Hopefully he just takes it. No, eh, not that far, one square back. Right there? Right there. Right. Grab him. And I'm using my bonus action to dash, and then drag him backward uh, behind Grog. It's an action to grapple. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, well, someone, I who, someone who who would be against it? Are you letting him grapple you? Oh, hell yes. Okay, then I'll, I'll say for the sake of the rest, it'll be the rest. Two actions and a bonus action. Just mix them around, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 it's fine because he, he, he wants to. You just rush forward. You Flame. grab him, and you're dragging him back this way. Back, yeah, right behind Grog. Okay. I'm gonna drag him between Vex and Grog, right back by Keyleth. Okay, there. I'll say that's about as far as you get because you have a little bit of movement uh, Beautiful. taken away, even though you are hasted because yep, yep. Uh, he's. Not too heavy, but he's still <sighs> right. Dash hasted. I can go uh, very, very far. Yeah, so you're fine. <laughs> Your hands are so rough and masculine. <laughs> right, that spank him on the ass and say, you're welcome, <laughs> shorty. Okay, I am going to kind of push my way through the crowd a little bit. Can I have that uh, laser point? Yes, you might. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now with all of the rage, Thinking about all. I turned someone into a chicken. I, <laughs> um, I want some feather down pillows for our loft. Um, I Chicken's channel not vegan. all of my fire Ashari ancestors. Ooh. And I cast my seventh level <gasps> firestorm. Oh god, we're all gonna okay. die. Okay. <laughs> so as I concentrate. Enraged at the sight of dragons. Yeah. Yeah. I have ten. Did you get me a wave? Because yes, you you're fine. Happening. You're fine. No, he didn't get you away because he knew this is happening. Oh, it just amazing. happened to work out. So right. I have ten ten foot cubes. That all have to be connected. That all have to be connected. So you can go like. So I'm gonna, exactly. One, I'm gonna start here. Two. And I'll work my way over. Three. They're ten foot. Four, Remember, they're ten foot. Yep. Five. Oh, sorry, yes, but they're they're attached. One, two, so they're bigger than that. Three. Well, they're ten foot by ten foot, which is about this size. Okay. Okay. All right. So, 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 so like it's 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 one. One. Uh huh. Two. It's happening instantaneously. Three, <laughs> four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. nine get that guy. Ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get the wyvern. Get, you can get, get the all of them there. Yeah! Yeah! Yes. Get this guy. That's oh spell. my god, that guy is gonna just oh. be so. Grog's <laughs> gonna bite his head off. <laughs> so I'm right. just in a fiery oh, rage. Destroy them, Kaylin! Are you seeing this? Um, they have to make a deck saving throw or they take. Right, but what, what, what's your DC on it? Spell DC. Oh, my spell DC? 19. Fail. 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 They're not very dexterous. Fail. Fail. What? Fail. <gasps> Come on. Fail. They all ah! fail. That's 7d10 fire damage Holy. to each of them. Why don't you use that all the time? I just got it. <laughs> you want some I just got it when I leveled. And you got to be careful with friendly fire. And it's all out of the way. Fire. So a giant fiery chasm splits open. The ground just bursts open, oh. rocks being thrown asunder as giant columns of flame just. I don't know what. <laughs> Uh, so out of the ground, just just completely engulfing each one of them in this, this sudden oh, wait, wait, wait. Conflag you know, conflagration of um, red and two. orange and, and yellow flames and, and molten magma. 24? 28. Oh. Wait. Is this one too? No, no, no. no. Northrop Grumman will be 24. calling. That was four. Um, 24, that's good. Uh, so, 27. 36, 30, uh, 42. 42. Points of fire damage. Ugh. Gingers, man. Okay. Gingers. <laughs> Word. My hands light up. Yes! Each one of the, the, the lizard folk type creatures in the flames, you just see them just shriek for a second ah! before their forms are turned to ash in these blasts of fire. Each, each like, subwoofer, like, uh, a guttural impact as the ground cracks open, boof, 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 just scattered just amongst. Explode? Yeah. Popcorn. Yeah. Um, each one of the wyverns themselves, you can see the flames emerge around them, and as it recedes, they have burn scars, and their flesh is 
cracked and peeled against the fire wounds that now tear across the front of their body. Uh, they're all looking, you know, fairly hurt by that. And then uh, I take a bow. I take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of exhausted a little judges. bit. Little little single tear. Oh. My ancestors. Oh. And that's it. All right, end of your turn. Percy, you're up. All right, I'm going to start walking towards <laughs> that the wyvern at the at the bottom there. This uh, way. Yeah, that way. I'm not going to get quite close enough to to get into the reach of that of that jerk over there. So you can go here. Yeah. yeah. While I'm walking by him, though, I'm just gonna just nail. I don't even know if I'm really gonna I'm just gonna shoot him three times while Go I'm walking it. by because that's funny. Uh, with sharpshooter. <laughs> okay. Good. So, so the first shot against them is, is uh, it's, uh, it would be seven, uh, 19. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll damage on him. Uh, that's. Uh, that's one d10. What did I do with my one d10s? Because I wasn't thinking. Here we go. Uh, that's. Um, 26 points of damage. You just take his head right off as you walk by, not even looking. And you can see the lower jaw just gets blown off and it falls to the back of the ground. Since I got two more shots, I'm gonna just start shooting at that one dragon, at that wyvern as I'm right there. Yeah, Go for I'm it, two shots it. on the wyvern. Uh, sharpshooter again. All right. Um, Pew! That's a nine, yay. Uh, so that's uh, 16. 16 hits. And I'll just roll the second one that's just fine. to have it. Um, that's uh, nine. Nine will miss, unfortunately. Nine will miss. Uh. Thankfully it will not, so that's fine. So, uh, that's great. Uh, 26 points of damage. Alrighty. This one, <laughs> the bullet hits inside of its body. You can see a little <laughs> of blood kind of And I'll get as it. close as I can get to him in this round, also. I'm going <laughs> to spend my movement walking straight towards him. Just, yeah. Wait through the rest of it there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's your turn. Uh, Grog, you're up. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave one of those to you guys, and I'll run it the two wyvern to the left. <laughs> Just getting in the middle of the fray. Well, you can against them both? Yeah, against them both! Ah, there you go. <laughs> so just charges in there both. Uh, what makes there you special? go. Let's open these puppies Because I killed the guy. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. That's a, a crit 24? 24, 24 on yeah, the one more crit. wounded one? Yeah. All right, that hits him. Can I swing at the other guy? If you want to. Yeah, let's, let's, let's divvy it up. I don't want to give anybody too much love. Uh, for uh, 26. Hits, so roll damage on each. 11, 22, 32. These are both great, both great weapon master. Mm -hmm. Okay, 32 damage. 32 of the first. First one, uh, you just carve through him with the blade. <laughs> nice. Uh, makes it safe. Five, 10, 21, 31, 31. 31 damage, okay. Uh, this one you streak across with, the, uh, with Craven Edge. Uh, makes it safe. Uh, you leave a large wound across the front of its jaw and it can. <laughs> However, you did kill one, so you do get to use your bonus action for an attack because of your master feat. Do I have to roll for the hit? Yes. Awesome. 19. Uh, that's 20, 20, 31. With the minus five? Oh, sorry. No, 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 minus five. Uh, what's 31 minus five? 26. 26. 26. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Three. Seven. 12. Matthews. 30, uh, 22, He's covered, 32. Covered in ichor. 32. Couldn't be quicker. <laughs> this, you swipe through the second time with the blade, this time uh, carving off part of its wing. Don't know. And you see it's, one wing is kind of like half curled and keeping up to the side. It's, it's kind of hobbling around its legs. It's looking like it's on death's door, but it's still keeping itself. Um, all right, is that in your turn? That's it. All right. Uh, <sighs> In there, and this one just stays there, and it's going to unleash upon you, Grog. Uh, it's going to bite and tail attack against each of you with a stinger. Uh, against you, Grog, that is a twenty-one to hit. Hits. And natural twenty on the stinger. Okay. Um, well, I'll have resistance against poison, so that helps. That's right. nice. That does help, actually. So it'll just do regular poison damage against you. Dwarf belt. Um, just so, a regular poison. So you take poison uh, 11 though? points of piercing damage, you are reduced to, to six okay. from the, uh, take these the bite, apart for every and the stinger it's gonna be like Pete's dragon heals. Going on, right? Totally, okay. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that's, that's four, 12 points of piercing damage, reduced to six as well. Okay. The stinger, however, needs you to make a constitution saving throw. All right. 
12. It's a failure. Actually, it would have been an additional 12 because it was a critical hit on the pierce. Okay. So you take 12, to- so a total of 18 damage so far. Okay. And then as part of the poison, you take 48 points of poison damage. Okay. Still because fine. you have resistance, that is reduced to 24. Hey! Okay. That's good. That's 40 nice. would have been fine. Right, you have poison resistance from the uh, belt, Belt correct? of dwarven kind. Yes. All right, so there you go. The other one coming up against you, Percy. Strike mm-hmm. with its bite. Well, that is going to be a 20, uh, 16. A 16 misses. 16 misses. That is going to be a 22 for the stinger. Stinger hits. Okay, stinger hits you for six plus four. 10 points of piercing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, constitution saving throw. Um, uh, 20. 20, you succeed, no poison. So uh, I took 10, 10 points of uh, piercing, damage. piercing damage. Correct. All right. Um, Yeah, it's looking kind of rough on both their ends. Uh, they're they're just fighting to the end at this point. All right, that ends their turn. Vex, you're up. I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the one fighting. Moving it over. Yeah, Percy. All right. And I'm gonna um, first attack the one fighting Grog. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, does it? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. You don't have a whole lot of armor. You just got a lot of hit points. Uh, 17 plus sneak attack, uh, 18. 18. So Grog, as you're thrashing about with the blade at this creature, eager to get that final hit, you reach back with Craven Edge before an arrow just shoof into its face and it <coughs> collapses to the ground. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I shift my attention over to the one fighting Percy. All right. And that is uh, 30, no, 28. 28 hits, go ahead and roll damage with the extra d6 for Hunter's Mark. 11, 11. Where's my dice? Uh, 17. Gotcha, 70 points of damage. Uh, second, you pull up the second arrow, release it, and it strikes the side of its body. Still seems to be standing, it heard it, but didn't leave it in any sort of dire straits yet. Uh, that ends your turn, you stay where you are. I'm staying where I am. Scan, you're up. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna... Um, Jump off the roof and rush over to Scanlan. Okay. Uh, so leading on, make an acrobatics check. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Scanlan, at the start of your turn, as you're getting ready, all of a sudden, <laughs> in front of you, spooking you momentarily, you see uh, Vex lands on her feet and looks down at you with a look of concern and wanting to make sure you're okay. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking on me. Could you move for a second? I'm gonna kill this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll. Uh, can't do much because I'm far away and I don't want to kill Percy. It's not going to live through me anyway. That's true. I will. I will. Wand of magic missiles him. Okay. Using how many? Uh... I'll use six of my seven. Oof. Alrighty. So go ahead and roll proper damage on that. Okay. The first. Okay. So was that sixty-four plus one? This would be a magic missile cast at level. Six, technically, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's weird because my... Yes. Have, you don't have to go so nuts. It would be, it would be 6d6 plus six. 6d6 plus six. Four. I'm sorry, oh. 64 plus six. Okay, Blah. great. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Plus what? Six? Twelve plus six. Eighteen. Eighteen? Mm-hmm. Okay. The missile's just <laughs> slamming into the side, arcing off and kind of swirling around Percy to hit it, kind of anime missile streak style. Yeah. Um, hitting it from all sides, you can see chunks of its body being flown off from the force of the arcane casting. Uh, it still stands, though it is cool. it is dripping from multiple wow. wounds and is having a hard time. Uh, <laughs> ending your turn, Scanlan? I think so. I mean, right. well, I'm okay. You dust off the smoke at the end of your I'll, one. I'll heal myself a little bit more uh, with another level one healing word. Go for it. Take your d4 plus five. Okay. Seven more points. There you go. You're up. I'm just going to start walking towards it and dagger and dagger and dagger. Go for it. Uh, first is uh, 20. 20 hits. Second is uh, 23. 
three. Hits. Third is a 23. Hits. So we go. Da, 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 da. Uh, 10 for the first. Sneak attack? Is it near something? Percy's in. <laughs> Okay, so the first is uh, 10 plus. Oh no, I'm nice, dead! Oh, 10 plus <laughs> 16, 20, 23, 29, 32, 36, 41 for the first attack. How do you want to do this? Oh, yes! Uh, I will uh, aim for its uh, open mouth as it's going and pin its tongue into the back of its skull. <laughs> As you yes. step forward, your first dagger, you kind of pull it out and aim it, and kind of over the hand toss it as it rears back, ready to bring its fangs out to sink down into Percy. The dagger vanishes into its throat, and you see its its face just go relax for a second. It begins trying to cough, and as it does, you can see just bits of uh, blood and gore from its throat begin being hot across the ground. It takes a few steps. Percy steps out of the way as it kind of heads towards you before it rears back and. And just collapses under the ground. You can see the blade still sticking out the back of its head, kind of towards the back of its throat, before it appears at your side of your belt. Yes. <sighs> Sorry, I made a noise, guys. <clears throat> Sorry. Next time, stealth. Stealth. We should get inside. Yeah. We should, we should hide. We should take what we can, and we should also hide the bodies. Good call. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's um, bring I, I go to everything where, inside. I go oh, yeah. to the wyverns and I start going for those stingers. Okay. You uh, can do this quickly, Keyleth, because we need to hide these Yeah, but bodies. that's how I can do it. It's going to take you a while to do it. Let's, let's take them inside. Uh, then I assist with my keen dagger to help her under her instructions. Let's get them inside. And then we'll probably have to move. We're going to drag the wyverns indoors? Yes. Drag everything Grog? indoors. Grog? Wait, wait, wait. Strong. Wait, these stingers are on the end of tails? Yeah. Grog, can you just chop off their tails and we'll take the tails with us? No, we gotta get no, the women's inside. We gotta if get everything flying inside overhead inside. sees these bodies, yeah. they know something's been attacked. Are half of them burned to a crisp anyway? Not crisp, just just scorched. There's, There's scorched. Some, some ash. So I, I go ahead and right. I do my, uh, uh, just a cantrip gust and start spreading out the ash. Okay. So there's no ash uh, it still it still looks like there are a number of like like someone just emptied a bunch of fireplace ash pits into the center of the walkway where there once were lizard folk. Uh -huh. um, what for? But, Just uh, the dust of tracelessness. Yeah. I'll give us cover. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll blow my horn of fog. I start putting the dust oh, yeah. of tracelessness oh. down on the ground, so it looks like nobody's been here. Blow fog sound as Skellian blows the fog, blows the horn. Fog fills the vicinity, and you guys begin tossing the dust of tracelessness around. I go grab the humanoid figures, and I like throw two on my shoulders, and then I get one in each hand, and I start dragging them towards a, a door. Any inside, just in, inside. To an, right, so to an any mind. inside. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll get the door for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys supervise. pretty quickly manage to move what you can out of the way. Uh, we'll stay over the next few minutes as the fog is there under that cover. You begin to drag the wyvern bodies into the alleyway, into the shadows. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make uh, some checks here to go ahead and see if you can harvest. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do the green ones. Okay, so first one. I'll definitely take advantage, uh, since I have advantage. Not that much better. Uh, uh, t uh, 14. 14, First okay. One. Would it help if I gave her my keen dagger for the rest of it? Uh, I would say, given the circumstance, all we do would offer her advantage, which she already has, right. so it wouldn't make much difference. Uh, so uh, the first one, it, it's been a little too damaged in battle, and you're unable to really draw any poison from the stinger for the first one. What's the second one? Second one. one. <laughs> Fifteen total. Fifteen is what you needed. You managed to extract just enough of the exactly. wyvern stinger poison to for possibly a, a single dose. So you can mark down a dose of wyvern poison. Okay. Um, I'll give it to. Um, I'll give it to, to Vax. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, Vax, put down in your. Do you have Vax poison for an or do it? Vax or Vax? I give it to one of the twins. Here, twins. You fight They're over both it. the same. Fight over it. All right, you have it for you. two more if you want to yeah. try. Two almonds, two more maybe. Vax could put it on an one. arrow. Right? 14. Okay, um, the, well, I, the second one I rolled a 25. Okay, so that's the second dose of wyvern poison. That I give to Vex. Yeah. Last one. 15. I'll take that 15 with a, with a 26. Uh, uh, All right, so you have three doses of wyvern poison that you've managed to uh, Harvest from these creatures, uh, you guys can distribute as you see fit. Anything else to loot from these yeah. Yeah. So else They don't carry much gold, and what they have, you envision, probably went yeah, yeah, to yeah. the entity that rules Iman. And as you're looking over the bodies of the few the lizardmen here, you see they didn't just wander their way in here. And you remember mentioned from Allura before that there were 
like lizard folk worshippers of Thordak years ago. Um, uh, it apparently, once the city's been taken, Thordak is, or at least the worshippers of Thordak are also moving in. Um, so, taking this time to harvest uh, the poisons, looking over the bodies, you can see the consistency between their uh, red, crimson, dyed uh, leather materials. Um, and uh, y you get the sensation that while this was a small skirmish group, this is probably the new policing state of Iman. Mm. Um, so with that, we'll take a quick break for the restroom. We'll pick up here in just a few minutes, guys, if you want to hang tight. Oh, and uh, we'll see you here short. <laughs> Jumping back in, as the party regathers themselves after the battle with these lizard folk and wipers in the center of the city of Iman, you slowly make your way back through the streets towards the north, passing through Abadar's Promenade, finding the building that was previously uh, brought to your attention thanks to uh, Garthok. Should we have taken a short rest, though, before uh, we head down to the class? Because some of us have taken some let's, hits. Let's take a, we'll take a breath in the... in the. Okay. Before we head down? Yeah, All in, right. in, in, in the basement. So you guys find, find the building that was uh, brought to your attention. You head down into the same cellar, uh, keeping tabs on the uh, external trap that was brought to your attention by Garthog last time. Make your way inside. There's the same barrel in the far corner. You pull the top off, and there indeed is a stair, or a ladder that leads down underground. This is why I left Trinket. Because he wouldn't have been able to come down here anyway. Hey, Just so you know. Search that shit, Max. He's very claustrophobic. So we just got ladder down. That's it. Well, hang on. Let's heal up. Can yeah, I hit? Let's can I hit dice it up? Let's hit that. I need to hit dice it up as well. I'm, I'm fine. So while everybody is. I would not like to take a short rest. Oops. <laughs> oh. I lose all my fancy feet. Do you need out. any healing then? Just do some push-ups. Just do some push-ups while I check this. I have a potion. Up. I'll take it. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna well, check no, for any traps on this ladder or anything. Yeah. Yep. Go for it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could she heal me instead? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna heal 23. you. 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, looking at the, uh, the barrel, there are no traps currently set and it's not locked. The only That's traps are in the outside of the right. cellar, from what you knew right. previously, and that's, that oh, no, mechanism had only been shown to you by Garthok, so that was easily disabled. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna go to the bottom of the ladder, and I go. Okay. So while you guys are taking a rest, uh, 30 for stealth. Okay. You drop down uh, the ladder. As you head down what probably comes to about 15, 20 or so feet uh, into pitch black, it's completely dark down there. Pitch black, okay. Um, do you have any light source or do you want to? I have a flame tongue dagger. Okay, so you pull the flame tongue dagger, put something like very, very low candlelight and kind of opens up the vicinity to you mm -hmm. as your feet splash down into very, very, uh, very shallow, a couple inches shallow water. Uh, looking around you, you are in a subterranean sewer system. The smell hits you as you hit the bottom of it. it this is the the entire underbelly of Iman, uh, and there is just a slight sound of trickling water that's rushing through this tunnel that you're currently standing in. The ladder drops close to about a foot above the floor before it comes to a complete stop. Looking to your right, it descends a little further down, and, and that side you can hear. Uh, you make a perception check. Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, to the right of you, it should be the eastern tunnel. Uh, you can hear the sound of trickling water growing louder, almost like the stream meets another. Mm -hmm. uh, as you listen to the left, uh, and the stench is pretty rough in this part, uh, to the left you can see the tunnel is a very, very faint, dim yellow light that is just shifting ever so slightly in the distance as it curves around out of view. And it is level to where you are right now, with actually a slight incline for a little bit. <clears throat> Vexalia, um, hmm. there is a long tunnel down here, and there is a bit of faint light. Um, I have Percy's fancy rock. I uh, am not planning on doing anything crazy, but I think you I You don't should. have the, the rock doesn't work until we sleep. You don't have anything. Well, uh, technically, I do still have it. Um, 
Regardless, I should go ahead and if there's anyone to talk to, I should talk. I'm not gonna go yet, I'm gonna wait till you guys have rested and come down, to the, it's pitch black down here. I'm not running ahead. I'm better at this shit than you and the rest are, so take a rest, I'm gonna sit here. You're better at talking than the rest of us are? Sometimes, Stubby, yes. How will I know if you get into trouble? And your hands are tied. Do you need me to come? Um, we can all hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these things are not uh, Stubby, single. Could you come down here? Yeah, no, everyone Hi, can hear you. Hold on just a moment. Wait, who'd you call for? <laughs> just a moment. <laughs> Mind the gap. <laughs> you splash oh. down into the sewer system. Fuck, it smells down here. Yeah. Do I have to step in the water? <clears throat> Probably. <laughs> Come here. Um, all right, so for all these guys, um, you were being um, you were being stopped by someone. I don't know for what reason. I don't know what. I don't know who the person was. I don't know what they wanted with you. Stopped. Someone wanted you, and I don't know who. Everybody wants me. <laughs> uh, the clasp was going to get you for them. Okay. And I stopped that from happening. Okay. I followed you one night, or rather followed this person following you and met the clasp. And I made an exchange for your life. What? I went and got someone else. And... And said it was me? No. Not immediately. Uh, you're almost on it. They told me to get a body. I got a body, a living body. A uh, child rapist, Ooh. and brought him to the clasp, and they brought out a stick. Um, really, it was made of uh, human tongues. A stick of human tongues. Yes. <laughs> they touched it. To they the touched fuck tongues. Nut, okay. And he turned into you. What the fuck? And they took that guy for whatever, and in exchange for your life, I have this, and they are allowed um, what to, to call on me when they want. Okay. So, I know that we've run in and out mm -hmm. a couple of times, but so we're going in, you can talk my fucking ear off in a moment, all right, just shut up for a second. We're going to go in and try to form some sort of alliance or working partnership. This is different than running in, smashing some shit, and running out, all right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, keep the cloak up, hang back, don't say a lot. <laughs> you can talk my ear off later. Okay, I will do that. I just want to know, the tongue guy that looks like me, is he dead or is he alive now? They gave him to some stalker. <laughs> some <clears throat> stalker. I don't know why you were wanted. I don't know what it was about. All I knew is that they were going to take you away and I wasn't going to let that happen. And I took some fucking piece of shit and traded him in. So there could be, at this moment in time, another person looks just like me parading around the world. Well, if I had to wager on it, I'd say he's in a, in a, in a dungeon in a rubber suit, but I don't know where, no. Well, thank you for, you know, doing that. <laughs> um, I never told you because it's creepy as fuck. Was it the clasp here? Or was it the clasp in Westrum? It was in uh, Westrum. Well, these guys probably don't know me. Probably. Probably. I'll put my hood up. Stay at the back. I would like to find out who the guy was that wanted me though. That's kind of weird. Thank you. For so, everything. Uh, oh. Thank you. Yeah. You always have my back and I know that. Yeah. And for that, 
I won't say very much. You do you, Beg Sally. <sighs> Everyone can come down. So as you finish your short rest, you all progressively find your way down the ladder into the subterranean sewer system with the choices to travel to the east or western sides of the tunnel. It sounds like there's, um, I don't know, drainage or something coming from slightly up in that direction. I'm guessing towards the light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scanlan. Oi. Do you have something that can make disguises? Don't you have, like, not the mustache, but like uh, something that can really change my looks? How do you know I'm Scanlan? I He's could got be a in hat. disguise. Yes, he does. yes, I do. <laughs> could I use that? You'd have to attune it to yourself, is yep. that right? Uh, it takes like a little bit. A half no, hour. I don't know. It requires yep. attunement. About a half a hour. Half. What do you think? Well, that's not a bad idea, but it means we're just gonna sit in this stank. Don't you think? I, mean, I can no, instant. Sure I can rest. instantly make us with seeming. I can instantly make us all look different. I would or like to just know. Or just you. How about just me? I could do that. I've got a, a question, though. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you think that the they one know one what I look like, don't, don't you think they know what you look like? Because you look just like me. So what difference does it make if I'm there or not? I don't know if the person who wanted you was part of the class. I don't know who it was. It's parading you around in front of the people who made an illicit deal with all you. All right, all right, all right. Seeming, how about it that? It could be fine. I don't know. Okay. Shaming? Yeah, no. Please. That's <laughs> pretty high level stuff. And then what if I heal you? What if I, ooh, I cast Minor Illusion and give her a mustache. <laughs> what about that? Is that pretty good? A fancy, fancy mustache <laughs> that you cannot wipe off your face. Hey, that's very handsome. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be enough. Thanks, it's not bro. quite enough for <laughs> our purposes. All right, I dispel it. How about oh. a limerick as payment, Scanlon? <laughs> a limerick for you? For you. You're going to give me a limerick? I'll give you a limerick. <gasps> oh! Ahem! <coughs> 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 Hold on. I've been preparing it. She's multi-classing a third time. <laughs> Have you heard tale of Scanlan the Bard? Or Burt Reynolds, if you look at his card? <gasps> Always tries to get laid. Sometimes with ladies he made. <laughs> but I still respect him, because rhyming is hard. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh! That was oh, excellent! Oh, oh. wow! Oh. Fire storm of the night! Oh. Oh. Where's the extinguisher? I will give you a d6 inspiration dice for that. Hey. Oh. Wait, me or her? Her. What? Whoa! Wow! Wow! That's impressive. <laughs> here's my. Here's the hat. You can use oh, it thanks. in yeah. about 20 minutes. Oh. You'll, you'll be able to use it. <coughs> I take off my circlet, I guess, and I put on it. Okay. So how about that smell, everyone? Yeah. Did you that's live good. in this? I Did never you lived deal here. With this? Oh, oh, that's good. I'm like uh, <laughs> I take off my distant hat. cousin. <laughs> 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 okay. In the time it takes for you to uh, to take the hat of disguise and uh, uh, go ahead and attune to that, you guys are not prepared. What path would you like to take? Towards the sounds, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, yes. have the, you have the sound of water rushing to the right into darkness, to and the you left. have the sound, or you have the, the view of the light, what looks like left. moving light to the left. But did you say on the to right the is going down, or is it coming down? <laughs> the water is trickling downward, the, the water continues sloping downward this way, the opposite direction is where the light is. Uh, a little bit of light you see in the distance. Mm. I say we follow the water. Follow the water down, or follow the light? Follow the water towards the light, right? Jesus, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> this is like the underdark again. I abstain. Like <laughs> <laughs> Lighter light. <laughs> Let's go towards towards the light. I'll do whatever what? they say. Are I'm... we going towards the light or towards the rushing water? Light. Light. All, all, all who vote light say aye. 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 All who vote water say aye. Aye. Oh, whatevs. <laughs> to the light. Yeah, all right, light. so you guys to head to the light. Left there any, I'm sorry, one last question. <laughs> Is there any thieves count on the walls at all? Oh, good uh, call. Make a perception check. Can I look too? You know what he's in. With inspiration. Is there any poo on the floor? Oh, there's... Uh, 31. Quite a bit. Oh, he doesn't need my help. Um, looking along the walls, you start heading in that direction, you do see a few markings that uh, 
It's basically, say, uh, Sanctuary in Thieves' Kent in the direction of the light. All right. Confirmed. You guys uh, continue onward? Yeah, I'll Started lead the way. Started tuning that hat. I did, I did. Oh, no, we sat here for 20 minutes in the stank. Yes. <clears throat> so, you guys continue forward up that tunnel. Uh, eventually, as it curves around, the light, you can see it's shifting because it appears to be a distant firelight that is the source in this vicinity. And as you turn the corners, the tunnel slowly curves around. It opens up into a large central uh, sewer uh, chamber. Um, though most of it is dry, and you can see there's a large amount of dirt in the center that seems to rise above most of the, the water that is collected along the ceiling. And there are also a series of of uh, platforms constructed out of what looks like wooden scaffolding at different levels all throughout this chamber. Um, some of it looks a little rickety, some of it looks very old, but various states of, of, of just moisture rot. Um, you hear a sneeze from the distance from one of the, as, you, as you look and see a series of, of small bonfires throughout the room bonfires. that are currently lit and surrounded by figures. In a sewer? Um, you see what looks like a ramshackle tent city and or a series of small wooden hovels that have constructed here. Um, you see a number of figures that are huddled around these bonfires, cloaks, uh, hoods up, generally just keeping warm in what is a relatively cold uh, subterranean area. Um, you guys glancing over here as you kind of the first look, you can see a few of them appear to be laid up and hurt, and there appear to be at least a few individuals that are heavily bandaged or have slings on. Um, as you guys kind of step into the room, not being very stealthy in your arrival, um, uh, we could have been, but I use a bit of sign language from from the Kant and uh, let them know that I'm part of the class. Okay. Um, a few of them stand up, hands on the side of their hilt, and they kind of stop there for a second before one individual steps out of the shadows and puts his hand up, putting it down. You recognize this to be Garthok. Garthok! He says, don't worry, they're with me. I'm glad you made it, though. It had been a while. I was afraid maybe you wouldn't. We got held up by some wyvern. And I almost died, it was crazy. We're here now. That sounds like it. I'm sorry yeah. to hear you. It's all right. I'm glad you stayed alive. Um, and as he starts to talk, um, there's a group of individuals kind of standing about 10 feet behind him, kind of separate as another figure pushes past them. Um, pulling the hood back, you can see what looks to be a, a man about six feet in height, average human height, long blonde hair that trails past to the middle of his back over a dark gray cloak. Uh, fine features, uh, at one time he looks older, you can see the weather, uh, weathering in his face and the, uh, the various wrinkles and lines from just years and years of, of living in this atmosphere. You said human, right? Human, yes. Um, he has a red-tinted monocle over one Ooh, eye. Yeah, cool. I like him already. Um, <clears throat> as he steps forward, the rest of the clasps kind of put their hands off the side of their weapons. He pushes aside Garthok to the rest of you and says, so you are the ones called Vox Machina, am I correct in this assumption? Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> Trusted of Uriel, executors of Modeth the Traitor. One among you is a member as well, I'm told. Step forward. Well, you are welcome here. I am Spireling Shen. Spireling Shen? He's a Spireling. Mm -hmm. Master of Networks and Information. Ooh. Oh. In the clasp of Imon. Excuse the mess, we uh, lost a portion of our territory, and I'm currently caught in mid-adaptation. So, what can I do for you? Well, you know who we are. And you know who I am now. Yes. And you know <clears throat> my spotty track record with the clasp. But that's all past now. The city's in ruins. You're looking at the right hand of Uriel. Uriel is no longer with us. We know. You are a hand to nothing. Of course. We're looking for what to do next with the city. I don't think any of us wish to be the pets of the beasts now roosting in the heart of Iman. <laughs> no, that does not do any of us any good. Business is ground to a halt. 
And we've lost a few uh, good patrons in this unfortunate circumstance. We've lost our entire northern tunnel structure as soon as a creature attacked the Cloudtop District. Well, I'll be honest, our first thought was to flee the city. But before Safer. we make that decision, yes, it is. We know that you're the next best thing to a government in Iman. Hmm. And we want to know what's left behind. Well, we're seeing to our own. We're going to see how many of our allies still lie within the city. We're going to reach out to our friends across Taldore and see how much of a network we still stand to keep. Then, we'll be calling a few debts, reach out to some friends, and uh, see if we can find some way to supplant this red thing. Can I inside check? Go for it. Um, not good. No, nine. Nine, you said? Nine. Wow. So uh, the plan now is to lay low and hide. Well, for now, I have a number of operatives topside who are currently trying to get as much information on the red one as possible. The piles of wealth are growing, and it looks like the beast is building a damn home out of the district. <clears throat> the city is going to need a black market. Oh, I'm aware, and we are preparing for that. However, it's still fairly fresh, and individuals aren't willing to, to release any coin when all of it goes to the pouches of the thing that sits on us. The word just got back that uh, Westron was also hit rather hard in the night. And uh, these creatures have continued eastward ever since. No further word on their whereabouts. So, we're put in a reactionary position, which I loathe. We're used to being ahead of the rest of the curve. Well, here's where we could help each other. It would appear that could be a possibility. We need this city to stay alive. We need the citizenry to be fed. We need people to know where they're going to get their medicine, where they're going to get their food. We understand it's going to be tricky. We need information, we need spies, we need to know what's happening in the city, and you need people like us to stay out of your way. That seems like a fairly top-heavy trade in our direction, if you ask me. There are many ways to get people out of our way. There are ways that we can benefit each other. I would love to hear it. I would too. <laughs> <sighs> we have safe haven. And please, by the way, stop me if you feel I'm being too broad. No, go for it. Do we have know? our keep that is untouched by the dragon's attack. We have a safe haven. Hmm. How is this keep accessed? We can get to that. There are options. We also have strong connections to Whitestone. And Vasselheim. And to the Slayer's Take, that's what they're called, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who could be a formidable force that could come, come to protect the city or drive, drive out the dragons anyway. We're proposing a short-term solution. You want to get back to a position where you can grease the wheels and make money. That's not going to happen anytime soon. But you can't take care of these beasts on your own. We neither are. Neither can Whitestone, neither can we. But it is very likely that we will be the thing that is dropped upon it from a great height. And the, mo the most uh, cooperation we can get for getting into a position of power over this beast, the happier we'll all be. <clears throat> hmm. Let's say we do this. Let's say we go forward with this alliance. You get out of our way. You promise resources from Whitestone, perhaps? They have quite a few unique contributions they could make. <clears throat> Say his take. I have not had many dealings across the Osmit Sea, but are you referring to uh, Vasselheim? Indeed. Well, that is force. a tough nut to crack, that city. If you are connected in Vasselheim, perhaps we can talk. 
There's no guarantees you'll be able to get in anywhere. There's no guarantees we'll be able to provide food or medicine. It's dangerous times, my dear. It is? But the sooner these dragons are defeated, the sooner business can get back to usual. Of course. Ow! <clears throat> I mean... <laughs> I know I'm getting a bit ahead of ourselves, but once the dragons are gone and the cities return to normalcy, what is your ultimate goal? To hold power or to remain in the underbelly? All the real power lies in the underbelly, my friend. I have a proposition for you then. We will do this. We have many channels and secret tunnels throughout the city. We could very easily deliver food, medicine, shelter even, to the wired and poor and downtrodden folk of this town be the subterranean heroes of Iman. Out of the goodness of our hearts, of course. However, once this creature is toppled and the city is brought to it, I gather you would have the ear of whoever comes to power in this city. We may very well be the, the person that comes to power in this city. That is helpful. And I imagine you also have some presumably powerful connections in Vasselheim. We would be interested in beginning a sect of our fair trade in that distant, all too, how do I put it, xenophobic cityscape? If you agree to be our seed in that stubborn garden of a town, you have our aid. Can you give us a moment, please? Patience grows thin. <coughs> Kind of adjusts the monocle in his eye. Uh, do we really need them? Are they really providing us How with enough to make this worth our while to where we essentially want to open up the Pandora's box of crime in Vasselheim? Do we want to be responsible for that? Well, I'm all about Pandora and a box, but I don't think we really <laughs> need this. It's not worth all of that, especially if we're going to Vasselheim. I feel like we just took one pretty top-heavy deal and traded it for an even more top-heavy deal not in our favor anymore. Yeah, oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I feel the urge to, to, further, to further discuss this. Also, to be fair, we're not representatives of the class. We couldn't, technically speaking, open. All we can do is, I think, <coughs> the most fair thing to do to offer in exchange for this is perhaps some trade with the materials that are available in Whitestone and maybe a promise of keeping a blind eye towards their business until the finish of recon finished reconstruction of the city. Let them reestablish themselves until the city is, is I don't properly know. completed. Don't say that. You need an underbelly. Underbellies are function. Underbelly is a function for this very need. The fact that we can actually get food and medical supplies into the city right now if we need to. Less than 72 hours after such a devastating attack. There's no other system. Yeah, if the class were to vanish, something else would take its place. They're inevitable. But I don't want to introduce them to Vasselheim. No. At the cost of people starving or not starving. All right, I am already here, Keila. I'm down for for joining them and and letting them take our join our cause and using their infrastructure. But can beyond I beyond that use perception to make sure that we're really private right now? Make a uh, perception check. Can 20, I join in? 22. Oh, 22 plus can I use my inspiration on this? Uh, when did you get that inspiration die? I got it from uh, in the wi Wyvern fight. It would have faded, faded by now, unfortunately. Okay, so 22. 33. 33? <clears throat> um, Jesus. You're far away from the, from the crowd. Um, however, uh, hmm. Spiraling Shen has been very, very, Concentrated in shifting his attention from each person that is currently speaking in this conversation. I turn my back I, to him and I say, "He can read his lips." Of course as as he can. can. I'm not. Which is why I'm not saying anything that I wouldn't want him to hear anyway. I just don't. I also don't <coughs> want to promise anything we can't deliver. I don't think we could deliver Vasselheim. We're going to be busy. We have too much on our plate. As I don't it think is. they listen to us anyway, honestly. I'm going to offer what we can. What we can give. 
and we see have if to that's have enough. something to sweeten the pot. Yes. What What are you offering? Money? Materials offering to sweeten the pot. We're defeating the fucking dragon. Let them get back to normal. We can't promise that. The dragon could very save. easily kill us. They certainly can't do it without us. And we can't do it without <clears> them. <throat> but we'll be bringing in other armies with us. I agree. It's, Maybe. it's uh, joined forces at this point. Yeah. That's all we can offer them. You're still There's assuming to he's going to keep side. his word, too. Yeah. Let me, let, let me go back to him. Oh. Shen. Yes. <laughs> I propose a counter offer. I just don't feel comfortable offering Vasselheim. I don't think that we could necessarily deliver, and we honestly have a lot to do. All I'm asking is an introduction to a handful of key figures in this city. No more than that. Well, I will not promise that now. What I can promise right now is some access to materials from Whitestone, which, and I show him my gun hilt, which is embedded with the gems. I can see what's still lying around and we can make a deal. I can also promise that for the reconstruction, once this has been dealt with, which is in everybody's best interest, until such time as there's a functioning government in this city, you will be treated with the respect appropriate of a group of people who are helping keeping the city function. You act like that hasn't been our treatment for the entirety of this city's existence. You think your council didn't have dealings with the class for many years before of this they happened? Had. I am not. We simple. helped make this city function. All we're offering is this service to other places that maybe don't have the right guidance to achieve their true greatness. All I ask is an introduction beyond these other. Far after the fact, don't even need to worry about it now. Who's to say what changes from now to then? Who would we even introduce you to? We don't even know anyone. Yes, we do. Um, oh. We know some high-ranking clerics, we know yeah, a cleric. slayers take. Uh, yeah, we met a bunch of people up there. In a zealot city? You want to go to a cleric and be like, hey, <clears throat> thought you might want to meet the underground mob boss. Some yes. antics, we don't have to worry about that now. Here's what I'll Just put a simple forward. simple handshake. And it's all done? I'll put something forward to the group. If they prove themselves honorable, if they prove themselves faithful and capable of keeping this city afloat, then we will speak to whomever they wish us to speak to precisely of what they did, no more, no less. This is an issue of morality. I would like to remind you that one, we've let you escape after murdering one of our leaders, only upon learning that he himself was an immoral individual. Welcome. Also, we went against our word as an organization by letting you take a war criminal that had already paid his way out of the city. And for that, we are grateful. And we gave you something very powerful in exchange. <laughs> And you got to keep that man's money. That was business. Mm -hmm. It was business, but business that was persuaded by the actions of good people and bringing justice. We want society to thrive. I'm willing to kick this ball down the field. <laughs> <laughs> so, without wasting any more time, shall we make this a fine, healthy city once again. This feels a fair deal to me. And it means that we can leave knowing that the city will, in fact, still have a populace while we're gone. You seem used to selling your soul, Percy. It is the job of ruling. If we come back and learn that you have made a deal with the dragons, you'll be the first to die, not them. Oh. Is it the job of the I would only hope that be the case. Absolutely. I wouldn't be caught dead dealing with such a selfish entity. <laughs> All right, then let's do this. Keyleth, shake the man's hand. I'll, you don't have to. <laughs> You've got nice, soft hands. Vax. It should be Vax. This is not the worst deal I've ever heard. You just don't know that yet. I have but things to do. Hand. I've met the devil, that's not him. 
Percy, you make me so nervous. Thank you. I haven't all day, and my arm grows weary with <clears throat> patience. Max. Would you like me to sing to Go give you some even. extra strength for that arm? Vax, I will make the deal I'm if you're not up to it, but I will um, want your blessing. You know what, keep your deal. Yeah, that a boy. We're gonna leave the city abandoned. Yes. With no one to protect we the We are people. not yes. abandoning it. We already discussed there are more than one ways to cut through I don't think you're going to, to let the knot. city fall anyway. If this city dies, you've nothing. I agree. <laughs> If the parasite hasn't a host to feed on, the parasite dies. And no, Percy, thank you. I'm sorry, but I think our methods of being rulers might differ. I don't think I need to sell myself for the greater goods. Very well, unfortunate as it is. Step forward. Is this a whisper, or I don't no, know? No, this is him asking you to step forward. <clears throat> he steps really close to you. Okay. And he takes you by the shoulders and turns you around to face away from him. Do you resist? I'm going to roll out of his hands forward to my friends. Okay, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Yes. 28. 28. You tumble away from his grasp, and you kind of. <laughs> Very well. I know your face now, at least. And the rest of the class will know that you are a false member now. You're not welcome in these tunnels ever again. And if we see your face amongst our kind, It'll be our word that you are to be taken on sight. It's a shame you've marked yourselves our enemy this day. I wish it wasn't this way. But to step up and front us with such disrespect for all the patience we've shown you in previous years is just, that irks me. Stinks of a lack of civilization. So please be on your way. We'll do as we do. You do as you. Now be gone. He turns around, flicks his cloak and steps back into the group as the rest of them keep their hands on their belts and just wait for you to leave. I look at Garthok and say, even you? Garthok actually gives you a very stern look and pulls his blade an inch from the side of a scabbard. Uh, 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 uh. I wouldn't do that. At which point you can now see 25 more class members step out, even wounded ones as they are, all stepping up and gather. You now probably have about 35 to 40 of them starting to form out of the shadows, kind of forming a semicircle around you entirely. Don't, don't do it, Grog. Absolutely not. No, let's go, come on. Well, I, I feel like I can't smile every once in a while. <laughs> we'll just back up. Just back up. I take a bow and I turn my back to them and walk out. I do not turn my back. I walk backwards the entire way out, with an arrow notched. I stay back to Vax. I say, party on, Garthok, <laughs> and then we leave. <laughs> Keyleth, darling, could you maybe make a wall of stone and close off this tunnel? Unfortunately, n no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Save a thought for the people of Amman. If you've any room left in your narrow minds, my back out. I end with, hopefully, you will realize that there is a far greater enemy at hand than the personal squabbles between us small people. And I also Step away. Okay. The spiraling's not even in view at this point. He's disappeared amongst the crew of the rest of them, and then you just have like sure, a, just a row. Me. Possibly. Um, as you guys exit and find your way back up to the surface, as the last of you makes it outside of the entranceway, you immediately start hearing the slamming and breaking of stone from underneath you. Nice. And you gather pretty rapidly that this entrance is being entirely Caves. removed from possible entry. Yep. This is 
I will just would like to point out, since you were, had such such noble intentions towards my position on things, this is your ego at work here. I may be many things, and I may be a deal maker, but I never forget that when I rule, I rule these people as well. I'm not better than them, and you may think you're better than them, but that this is what it creates. It creates enemies. No, Percy. The difference is, is that I don't think I'm better than them. Well, they certainly think you do, and they are not pleased. This mark, is it magic? Can they trace you through this mark? Good question. I don't answer, I walk over to Keela. Can you still do the thing with your hands? That thing? Okay. Rip my shirt down. I want you to burn it away. Ugh. Now. Vax, do you have an arrow? Vex, do you have an arrow? Of course. I can hand it to him. Put it in your Put teeth. Put this in between your teeth. Searing white pain through the back of your eyes, Vax, as Keyleth presses her palm into the center of your shoulder blades. You can hear the sizzling and cracking of skin and smell the burning of Vax flesh in the air in this cellar. Um, go make a constitution check. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Uh, you break through the arrow with your grip and actually give out a very loud, painful scream out of reaction. Like you do. Um, Similar to when you hit me in my arm. Kind of. <laughs> Um, but a moment passes. Kill if you pull your hand back, and where the vac, where the uh, clasp symbol once was, there is a hand mark burned into the back of the Becca. shoulders. Because <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> you <laughs> the whole time. Kill her now. <laughs> I didn't know. What would you guys like to do? Uh, well, that was a bust. That, that could have gone well. so much better. Vax, I think you made the right call. And I don't think very often. <laughs> <laughs> or very well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, group. I think we could have gotten out, out of there with a better with a, at least the hintings of an alliance as opposed to just straight up bitter enemies. This was I this was a disaster. Sometimes you have to walk away from a bad deal to find a good one. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> That's when it, you didn't read that. that. I got what you were saying, Grog. When it rains, the sun is shining. <laughs> it's deep, Grog. It's very I like deep. it. Just stew on that. I cast cure wounds on. No, where back. I already did it. Too oh. late. I'm looking touched, you fucker. Does that take the scar? Does that? Take everything away? It takes the pain away. Just the pain. Uh, is it more? Just, just to cure wounds. Um, what it does is it, it basically prevents infection. It does heal you for the hit points you would have lost for that. I'll say it nullifies the damage you would have taken from the, from the burn mark. Uh, it does not alleviate you from the scarring. Okay. Uh, it's not as graphic as it would have been had it been left to heal on its own, um, but it does muddle the class symbol somewhat. Okay. Thank you. Hey. So, shall we go back to uh, keep? We can just kill them all now. At least there's hundreds of them. That's the, no, we can't. I saw like forty or fifty. Yeah, there that's was what you saw. Hundred and sixty in the rafters, and it oh. would do no good. And and then who would be bringing food and and nobody's going to be bringing city in the first place. They're going to go on doing the same thing they would have done with us or without us. They're doing it without us, though. We need yes, to go back Percy, to our keep. Do you honestly think? That after all of this was done, do you want to be beholden to those people? And I don't believe they are going to bend the knee to Thordak. I don't. I don't believe it. They're not going to. No, of course not. And that was all I personally was worried about. I wanted people on the inside keeping us informed. And we just lost a very powerful spy network. I think the only people on the inside right now have scales. That's everybody needs something. Let's we can keep find our own people. There are we, we are not going to bother. We're going to go and we're going to find a way of killing these things and we're going to just hope for the best in this city. That's what we're going to do. You guys are heading back and need stealth checks from everybody? Stealth yes. check. Yes. Pass that trace. Fuck. 
Uh, pass to your god. Natural, natural one. Oh. Natural one. Oh my god, really? What? Even no. with pass? That just adds. Natural one. Natural one. Yeah. That's pointless. Uh. Then what's the point of anybody? Rolling? 27. 19? 37. Do we have a plus 10? <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, uh, 33. All right. Uh, you guys you guys push uh, southward through the city, uh, finding your way through Abdos Hamra. At this point, the sun has set. Uh, night has come in, and occasionally you hear the flapping of leathery wings overhead as a number of sentry groups of uh, wyvern riders go tearing through the city. Um, uh, at one point, you hear a similar kind of <coughs> sound, and you hear other ones begin rising up off the rooftops. Uh, heading in your direction, oh, Keyleth. Um, what do you guys do? I think I'm going to push her against the wall, uh, like the minute we see that, I'm going to push her against the wall and I'm going to minor illusion a shadow right over her. Mm. Okay. Uh, make a new stealth check with disadvantage. Add 10. It's a natural one on their end. Oh, oh good. As long as you didn't uh, roll a natural one. No, I didn't. I rolled an eight plus a seven, so. Okay. Plus so uh, at that point, they one swoops down and lands on the edge of the roof, and you see it kind of curling down. <laughs> and takes off again, and they continue on out of the way. You wait a few moments before silence takes the night once more. And you press on, heading southward. Um. <laughs> nice. Good job, Percy. Thank you, Percy. One Sometimes day you're going to stop being afraid of me, by the way, and I hope that day comes soon. Shadows come in handy. Before we go to the keep, do you want to swing by the uh, the, the, the place? The, 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 the place. The place with the sh airships. Well, there's no swinging by. That's 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 a caper. That's an entire thing. That Just to go there and look. It's. There's the showroom is fucked. It's broken. <laughs> this is this is one of those things that we're going to have to get everybody on board before we even start talking about it. So probably a good night's sleep. All right. We need to sleep. Wait we need to get up in the morning. Again. And then we'll talk about an airship. I'm really on board with the airship. I'm right. I think we need to go to Vasselheim or Whitestone. Vasselheim. We don't need an airship to do that. No, we no. don't. We don't, but we also need to find out what's happening with Allura and White Room, Westron, all those cities. So Stone many places. Stonehenge. <laughs> this may all be right. an easy way to get Back to, to the keep then, I guess. Up. Via our secret tunnel. When we get there, can we just check in on Gilmore and the Queen? Yes, uh, and uh, as, as you return to the lights. keep, um, uh, Pike has been taking care of the rest of the individuals and she's been seeing to uh, uh, Gilmore's side. Gilmore is fast asleep. Uh, dealing with the tail end of a fever that is broken after the healing from the day before, uh, earlier in the day, I should say. Um, uh, also appears that Salda and the children have been in and out, keeping an eye as well. Uh, Pike, as you enter, gives looks up to you with a smile and says, "He'll be all right. He's going to pull through." That's wonderful. I should probably stay with him for a bit, make sure he's okay. Is he unconscious still? He is asleep. Sleeping. Currently, yeah. He's, he's been conscious throughout the day while you were gone, but he's got to rest a bit more. He still had a rough, rough few days. Uh, <laughs> <It's> dead on. <laughs> um, just needs I, headphones. Ex I just need headphones and then brush against the mic occasionally. Um, especially during really, really impactful what? story moments. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So you guys find yourselves resting for the evening. You take to a night's sleep. You're gonna sleep, Grog? Um, yeah. Yeah, you gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. If you don't sleep, you're gonna start getting levels of exhaustion for the oh. next day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so you lose the strength bonus. Everyone, you can get about half of your hit dice back. That's a lot. Oh, good. Um, as the sun goes down? The sun's uh, been down. It's been down and everyone's going to their rooms. I go to Keyleth's door. And knock on it. Keyleth. Uh, I open the door. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I don't want to be alone tonight. Do you? I haven't been 
want him to be alone most nights. Can I let him in? Okay. So, we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> jump forward to the next morning. That wasn't kind of um, the kind of ship I was hoping to get. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can all fit um, on that ship. So, uh, next morning, you all wake up, uh, full, hit, full hit points, uh, get back at half of your spent, uh, half of your max hit dice that you spent. Um, the, uh, all your spells back. Hmm, I give uh, Scanlan the hat of disguise back. Okay. You sure you don't need it? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Keep up those rhymes. Not bad for a first time out. <laughs> All right, so, what's the plan? You know, Vex, I'm, I don't want to be alone right now. <laughs> I just take his face and I push him down. <laughs> on the All right, so what's the plan? I suppose well, our plan is to, is the Slayers take next? <coughs> Vassalheim. How do we get there? Wait, we have to yeah. get rid of all the Fugees. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll send them. Uh, we, should... we need to go to Whitestone then. Well, here's the question is, do we want to head towards Vasselheim from Whitestone? Yeah, let's do that. Yes. So we'll all go, we'll take the, the last of the, uh, uh, I can't believe I'm going to say this, the last of the Fugees. Yes. Oh. Ooh la la la. Oh, wait, wait. La, la, all of our guards la. and our servants as well. I don't want to leave everyone here. We're That's abandoning right. the keep? I don't know what else to do. If dragons attack, our five guards we aren't going to be able to do anything. Them. One dragon crashed in the roof of the building. Accidentally smushed it. <laughs> what, what are the cook and the maid going to do? Make it breakfast. Oh. Jared's oh. pretty badass, yeah. but I don't think he can handle Dragons get hungry. A white dragon. When we I've... come back, our keep will be gone. And we'll be able to build it back up. Destroy. It... It'll match the rest of the city. Not scanning. necessarily. Percival's the Lord of Whitestone. He's got a castle. We find a new keep. But my room is just the way I want it. <laughs> I'm sure that some lucky dragon's gonna come and shit in your bed. It'll be fine, they'll just. All right, if we're gonna leave and leave the keep, I'll need a moment in my room. I <laughs> actually... Another room bathed in self-loathing. Gather. <laughs> Doesn't need to be here. It takes a good month to bathe a room in that you much self-loathing. <laughs> you look like you're glowing t this morning. That's right? ridiculous. I've never seen you quite so chipper. Let's well, I'm not gather what we anymore, need. So that must be it. <laughs> Make sure that Gilmore is ready to move as well. We'll bring everybody through to Whitestone. All right. All right. I um, I guess we should go tell you know the guards that they probably will have to mm -hmm. leave if they want. And that they can come work in Whitestone for the... Well, I don't want to force them to, but of well, course they're welcome to. Why don't you go ask the guards? I'll go talk to the kitchen staff. All right. Okay. I know who she's going to talk to. <laughs> we'll see if... the captain of the guards, anyway. <clears throat> we'll see for the sake of brevity. Uh, you speak with the rest of the, the, uh, the Keep's staff, including the guards as well. Um, you know, Jared, for the most part, is like, as long as I'm still getting paid, I mean, we're more than happy to go where you need us to be. If it's further away from dragons, I am okay with that. Um, so Don't there. you need your tools? Your... I can pack up my kit, and I've also technically got a work, I've got a, a reasonable workshop back in Whitestone Whitestone well. you do, yeah. Okay, so you gather your materials, you prepare at the tree in the center of the, of the keep, you say your goodbyes. Before we, before we go out there, I go to my room, I take a dump on my bed. You've used it at the Temple no, of Serenray? No, it's not a potion. <coughs> just a straight up poo. Just a straight up poo? Okay. Marking your territory. I respect that. And I hang a note on the, on the, on the gate of the keep. You're sitting on your own bed. I don't okay. want anyone else checking. to use it. Let's <laughs> just check it. <laughs> uh, with like a butter knife, I put a note on the gate to the keep that says, uh, if Kaylee comes, go to White Whitestone. P.S. If my painting is delivered, please forward to Scanlan Short Hall to care of Whitestone. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Mind the poo. I, um, <clears throat> I leave a note for Allura and tell her that we've, um, we've headed to Whitestone as well. 
Okay. All right. No, I'm. I don't say Whitestone. I say the place where we sent you originally, so that she knows where it is. But nice. Okay. Notes are placed. I'm like scanning. Spells prepared. Packed everything that could possibly be used to make anything dangerous out of my. Okay. So you have your supplies at the ready. You all gather in the center of the Temple of Saren Ray. Kilith. Not yet, Kilith. What? We'll be back. What's wrong? Are you ready, Vex? I mean, this is the first time we've had a home in forever. I know. I'm leaving it. I know. Can you make it disappear or something? No. We can go. It's nothing. It's I nothing. Can put a hallucinatory terrain over it that'll last a little bit, but not long it's enough to make stone. it worthwhile. It's just stone. We've done it once before. We can do it again. It will be built back better than before. That's what we do. Let's go. Whoosh, the portal opens outside of the tree, Everybody and all, all the refugees start rushing through. <clears throat> you guys give chase, following over to the opposite side, where Whitestone waits. You all emerge from the sun tree in the center of the familiar town. Um, Fucking cold. It is chilly. Um, not as snow-dappled as it was when you first arrived. A little bit of that melted, and uh, the clouds are a little bit more open. You can see some of the blue sky above you. It's actually a beautiful day, if a bit chilly. Um, as you emerge, you can see there's a few individuals in the center of the town, including a couple of the original refugees that were seen to almost be waiting for the rest to come through. And they greet you as soon as you arrive and rush up and grab a couple of people that they had met at your guys' keep. Some come forward saying, thank you, I'm so glad you made it, and you shake your hands and everything, and um, you've, you've arrived back in Whitestone. Um, so, do you guys want to just wait here for the day and then make your way to Vasselheim? We need to talk to anybody here. Just to set up to make sure that that um, the Queen and her children are taken in the in the castle. Uh, we can actually. You'll fill your sister in. I will fill my sister in on, on how they're to be taken care of. Make sure that uh, Gilmore is taken care of. We may want to stock up on potions and stuff yeah, before we leave. Yeah, buy as much yes. as we can. There's a there's a shop. Just yeah. There is, but you guys have cleaned it out. Damn, we did. Mm. Well, it is, we'll buy it is, stuff um, in Vasselheim. They have not had an opportunity to really. Restart. Can, Their main providers have been killed. <laughs> do you think that, with the time that's passed, Cassandra has found any of the belongings of the Briarwoods? I mean, they were pretty, you know, we can, we can ask about that. Okay, you go ahead and approach Cassandra, who's uh, happy to greet you once you return. Uh, so, um, how, did you had a question? Uh, Vax? Um, well, we need to kill some dragons and we are out of everything. You've been here a while. Have you found anything of the Briarwoods? Any any store of treasure or potion or anything of use? Well, um, I mean, the personal effects you, I, we all retrieved when they were defeated. Yes. Um, what remnants of income or gold which they had kept was put in with the rest of the Whitestone treasury when they took over. Not, not so much interested in gold as in means of protection. Or healing. They weren't really specialized in healing, I'm afraid, and what bits of protection they had you've already taken. Yes. But if gold is what you need, we can probably spare you some. Possibly. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna say no to gold. <laughs> Obviously, we, we'll, we'll cover a little line. bit just, just for the, because we are going to need so it for the mission. So very generous of you. Also, let's, right. let's, t let's make, let's re-employ our castle guards as the uh, Iman royal guards for the meantime, and they can serve the queen and her and her children. I like it. Yes. Um, that, that can be very easily presented. Uh, oh, and here we are, and she takes, there's a small chest with a, a lid that she hands over to you. Actually, she puts it out, and your hands are already out already. She's kind of, all right. So, mm -hmm. um, 2,000 gold from our coffers. And, and it's not much, but we have to keep the city running. Of course, of course. And a small amount of the, of the green gem, if that would be possible, that's left over from the, from the mining operation. Of the, of the glass. Of the glass, if possible. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, certainly. Thank you, um, I'm working on something. Very well. Uh, it takes a few minutes for that to be retrieved from down uh, south of the tomb of the uh, mausoleum, but nevertheless, to get a, let's say, four, uh, let's say four half dollar sized pieces of uh, residuum glass. Perfect. I want to mark that down. Uh, four. Four shards of residuum glass, four I should shards. say. I hope that's of aid to you. Um, 
apology for the, for the confusion. We have quite a bit of uh, individuals to find homes for and get them running. And Gilmore hopefully. will be of great help. Yes, and yes. as you told me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to drop this all on you, and I'm thankful. I'm thankful that we even have an opportunity to offer aid to somebody that thinks to you, so it's nothing in our... It will not be the end of it, sadly. That's all right, whatever we can do. Anyway, good luck. How are we, we off in the morning? How are we getting to Vasselheim? We can either teleport. Yeah, teleport. Uh, Is that true? Just pop on over, yeah. We sleep for the night and then we go up yeah. to Vasselheim the next day. We have dinner and... Hang out in Whitestone for the day. I'm going to work on that little project. <clears throat> Whitestone and chill project? <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, um... I usually want to surprise the, uh, the, uh, um, thing I was trying to attach to my gun but wasn't working. I'm going to try and attach to my boot instead. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can well, draw rest, you. I well, can draw you a sketch. All right. While the rest of you guys are, are attempting to rest, I need you to go ahead and make a Tinker Tools check. Tinker Tools. No. Uh, <laughs> this goes in here. That's better. Uh, uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, you've affixed it to your boot. We'll see if it works. And I've got like one working. P I know I have to inch individual build. I have to. I have to build the 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 the, uh, the nubbin. The, the actual device itself has to be built for individual usage, it's not yeah. auto. So I'm gonna try and build one and see how it goes. Okay. Um, so total cost for the materials and that will put you at about 300 gold. What? 300 gold. Oh. I'm working on something. Okay. Thank you. Are you borrowing I mean, it's your city. 300 <laughs> of your gold that you from just the money gave I loaned since the Since the day I've met her, I've given her every bloody time I've made, so yes. <laughs> I just no longer even think about it anymore. Really She's practically the royal treasurer. I don't give her any advice. She's just happier that way, so just yes. She's I'll just happy. <laughs> All right, you find an evening's rest. The next morning comes uneventfully. You find yourselves refreshed. You gain, I'd say at this point, you're all at full hit dice after two nights of rest. You're fine. Um, so, uh, on to Whitestone, Keyleth? Yeah. Er, that's that's what I mean, sorry. You're in Whitestone. We were just right. here. <laughs> you recall you've seen a number of trees. The largest you've seen uh, in Vasselheim have probably been on the outskirts of. Uh, the Hydra, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say we camped out in a few trees outside. You can of if you want to go outside. Of, do you want to stop outside of the city or within the city? Is the question. Uh, whatever's closest. No. They don't like no magic in the city. No magic, no magic in the city. In the remember? City. And That's they, right. They, outside the well, city. Well, no, no like... arcane magic. Oh, yeah, divine right. magic is a different thing. Don't we have a temple? There's plenty of divine can, magic within the city. Into? Oh, is there a teleportation circle? Do we have one in Whitestone? There wasn't uh, a teleportation circle. There are no. To there are no that's sigils arcane. to Vasselheim. That's part. That's part of their defense process oh, is uh, preventing any sort of like secret intrusion in that regard. Okay. No so, so we'll teleport to the outside of the city and then we'll we'll perhaps in. sleep at the. Yeah, at the temple of Sarah. Okay. There's the abundant terrace. Or we always have rooms at Slayer's Take, remember? We do yes. always have rooms at Slayer's Take. What's the abundant terrace? I don't remember. Uh, that, that's the uh, the section that's Melora, the, the deity looks over. That is where primar primarily most of the farming, food, and uh, uh, yeah, let's goods go is there. kept there. That's, good that's where you know there are a lot of number of orchards and things that are kept in that vicinity that you sure. can go if you wanted to. So and that's, and that's right outside the city? It's within the city. It's, oh, it's, one, one, the it's city? one of the five quarters. I won't say quarters, it's one of the five areas. That's sure. Um, all right, so. Is it, okay, is it just all, is it, is it Gilmore staying here in Whitestone, yes? Yes. Yeah, unless you want to try and bring him with you. No, 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 it makes sense to leave him here, right? I mean, where do you want to stay, Gilmore? <laughs> if you're approaching Gilmore, he goes, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, I'm not quite feeling 100%, and uh, let's just say I'm not a huge fan of the zealot type. Understandable. Vasselheim doesn't really, doesn't jangle my dingles. <laughs> I would. You've got a whole bookstore devoted to you here. This is true. <laughs> I would appreciate your help nice restarting the economy of, of Whitestone, to be fair. Jangle my dingles. Uh, <sighs> I guess it's not too late to open a new <laughs> branch of Gilmore's glorious <laughs> goods since my other possibly two no longer exist. Oh, I was so close to opening. <laughs> uh, I started from nothing, I could do it again. <coughs> Good luck, you all. You as well. So we're going to a tree outside of the city? Yep. 
Well, it's in like the farming district of the city. Yeah, it's within the actual city. All right, cool. Pew. All right, <laughs> using this once again off the sentry, you guys step through. As you emerge out the other side, you are in the thick of a heavy orchard um, and the Abundance Terrace. Uh, there is heavy snowfall has fallen recently here, and where it was cold in Whitestone, it's cold here in Vasselheim. Uh, you can see, uh, looks like built up ice and sleet that has recently been kind of pushed off the sides of the orchard. Uh, and even amongst this very, very cold weather, all the, the plant life in this area is vibrant and springtime green. Um, as you all kind of emerge in the center of this orchard, you can see one of the nearby uh, workers just kind of thinking the land looks over. Hey, hey! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in the middle of the orchard. Slayers take business. We'll we'll, we'll keep moving. We're just leaving. Uh, fucking slayers take. <laughs> do whatever they fuck they want. Drinks out of his canteen. Fine, just get out. You guys. I'm glad that manticore's not in your orchard. That's all I can say. Manticore. <laughs> <laughs> That's just cruel. Don't worry. We took care of it. Thanks. He starts looking nervously over his shoulders as he goes back to his work. Um, eventually, you guys step outside of the terrace, finding your way to the quad roads, which is the central kind of network that the, the four main portions of uh, Vasselheim attached to. This is the uh, the Arathis based center of the town. You have before you, uh, to remind you, at the very, very northern part of the town is the extremely tall pointed mountain uh, known as Heaven's Stair. Uh, attached to that mountain on one side is the Silver Talons Reach, that is the uh, the main temple to Bahamut. <laughs> to the left of it, not against against the mountain, not actually into it, is the uh, the uh, the Braving Grounds, and this is the area that is uh, geared towards Kord, Kord, the deity of war, where you had previously had a conversation with the uh, that guy. Uh, Dawnmaster, the Earthbreaker, uh, Grun. Uh, there's the Platinum Sanctuary in the Silver Talons Reach, which is where. Um, the High Bearer of Ward, the Silver Touched, the High Priest of Bahamut is. Um, you also just left the Abundant Terrace, and there is uh, the Quad Roads, which where the Slayer's Take currently is, and there's the Dusk Meadow, which is the Raven Queen's domain. Where do you guys want to go? My, what was the Dusk Meadow again? Was that where we uh, chased the Rakshasa? That is where the Amaranthine Oubliette resides, which is the prison of the city. <laughs> Um, what was the name of the section of the city that has the Slayer's Take? It's the Quad Roads. That's the uh, Arathis uh, deity of civilization. <laughs> so, look, like, I really want to go talk to the Kung Fu Panda Master. I don't think we're going to get in a lot of fights here. The guy, he, he was, I think he was the teacher of Kern. All right. Oh, that being guy. The crucible. That that ripped, chiseled old man. Yeah. You're talking about. Yeah. yeah. The guy who beat you twice? No, 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 no. no, no, no. And nobody beat me twice. I got lucky once. Get it straight. But I want to go talk to him because maybe we need some more fighters and strong folks, and I think he might know where they might be. We should talk to the Slayer's Take as well. Yeah. We yeah. should get our rooms. Yeah. At the very let's least. go post up. We have things to put down. I'm also only about a day's travel from Pyra. What's that? Pyra? That will be... A home. Oh. <clears throat> what's left of it. That will be a trip that will be necessary soon, but not yet. All right, so you guys have the Slayer's Take first, or were you heading? Yeah, yeah Slayer's, Slayer's Take. take. Yeah. All right. Just to let them know we're here, we need some rooms. Okay. For free. You make your way to the outside of the main Slayer's Take Guild Hall. Uh, the you know dark wood exterior greets you happily. You can see they still have a few of the, they have like these, this gathering of various antlers of creatures that are kind of tangled into each other that form this kind of uh, rustic looking entrance. And there on the front doors you see emblazoned the uh, Slayer's Take, uh, I have a better term, their, their, their symbol with the words of their actual guild spread across it as you saw before. Um, Opening the front door, you can see within the main uh, foyer area there is the, the dark iron chandeliers that run across the entire length of the main, kind of a, almost like a like a moot hall, if you will. Um, and across the front, uh, where is it? Here we go. Across the front area, you find the the, the clerk desk sitting behind it, a familiar uh, red-haired, kind of tousled, chin-bearded, uh, scarred up. 
tiny man with his feet up on the desk, kind of falling asleep in his chair. <laughs> Oi! Ta-da! What is this craziness? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been some time. Yes, it has. So, hello. Hi. What's your business? What you looking for? Who's it? Like to make you this one. Huh? Dragons? Have you heard about anything? I mean, other than the time that you killed one, that is most recent, but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, nothing beyond that, really, no. We're going to need rooms. And we're probably going to need to speak to your lady wife. lord. Uh, well, your wife, but I'm talking about the boss here. That's his wife. Hmm. Mm. Higher still. <laughs> Sphinx. Oh. Ness, uh, 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 she is currently out on uh, a hunt. Should be back in the next day or so. We have urgent business to discuss with her. For now, we need a place to stay. Well, you're always welcome here. This is your home away from home. So please, um, take a load off. Pick a room. It's up to you. It's good to see you all so healthy. Healthy. Thank you, yes. mm. <clears throat> Merton. Right? Yes. Um. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so glad to hear. The only reason I remember um, that is because it sounds like Merkel. Is, <laughs> Merkin. is Zara around? She's actually currently out with Vanessa on the hunt as we speak. Wow. <laughs> That's fine. So we can see her. Okay, well, um. Uh, Sorry, we're tired. We've been hopping all over. Me too. I was sleeping when you came in. I don't mind if I get back yeah. to that. Sorry. Oh. Um, so any room? Just, yes, room. Yes, any room. Any yeah. room? If it if it's somebody else's room, they'll let you know. All right. Uh. So please take your time. Okay. Well, you settling? I'm settling in. Yeah, I guess we all settle. All right, room in. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There's a number of empty rooms. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of individuals <laughs> around. As you walk down one of the hallways, though, you do see there is a card table. And uh, the two individuals in there, you see uh, a very, very scarred, burly, and frustrated dwarf who's throwing down cards on a table. Uh, black, long series of beards in his hair over his beard. Uh, you see, there's uh, Torbeer is sitting there at the card table oh my with, with another man wearing really, really beautiful, ornate armor that is well polished, very short, kind of dirty blonde hair, who is currently apparently owning him at cards, just going. <laughs> It's terrible luck, friend. I'm sorry to hear this. Aldor. Taking his. Sorry. It's Aldor. <laughs> Whoa! Torbeer's sitting there, throws his cards on the table. <sighs> they tell me I'm supposed to have the luck of the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I guess it's about time you all showed up. I'm gonna get a drink, and he gets up from away from the table and just kind of walks away from the rest of you, with like kind of a half-hearted high. But he's just in a—he's in a huffed mood and walks off. Galdor takes his winnings and kind of scoops the change into a pouch. Aldor, Aldor, Aldor. How's how's Lyra? Have yeah. you seen her? <laughs> <laughs> Why, have you seen her? Uh, not in a while, no. but we thought you guys were engaged to be married, no? It's the last we heard. He reaches forward and grabs your shirt and pulls in it. Where'd you hear that? <laughs> not from a reliable source, I promise. Very you. sketchy source. Good. <laughs> you haven't seen it, have you? Not in no. a long time. Good. She's still a member of the Slayer's Take, of course, though, isn't she? I assume. <laughs> I just run if I see her. Um, <laughs> she's a bit. Yeah. Oh, she seems nice to me. Good. You know what, actually, if you wanna do me a favor, and I mean, she's a nice girl. Probably pretty easy if you ask her. Um, <laughs> why don't you I'm take sorry. her off my hands and you have a government date. No. Take her out for dinner, you know? You saw her first. Her. You saw her first, I'm a man of honor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should go. He grabs the stuff and leaves in a hut. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking well. Wow. True love. Okay. It's weird being back, you guys. Well, uh, I guess we should ask them all if they want to come with us to fight a dragon. 
Yeah, do we do, do we do that now or do we do it in the morning? In, in, in the morning. In the morning. Dr. Nessa. Let's, let's feels like we were nap. just running screaming from dragons yeah, in the sky. Ahead. And now. Uh, yeah. Let's. We traveled. Let's, let's, we'll you know, sleep on it. Sleep we'll talk to it. Nessa in the morning. Well, we'll get up in the morning. We'll take some of that gold. We'll put it to good use. We'll yeah. wait till Nessa gets back, and then we'll carve out a plan. Okay, take sounds Percival. good. That sounds just fine. Cord strength to us all. Yeah. I wonder if Kashaw is still here. Probably he works here, doesn't he? Who? Kashaw. Kashaw. <laughs> That was the one that they went out on. The oh, right, Akile, the guy that kissed you. Uh, Brooding. <laughs> handsome. He was so troubled. Handsome. He was so troubled. He was. Yeah. He was very handsome. I felt, I felt to. Uh, so we should probably go sleep, you guys. It's like morning still. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like yeah, it's like maybe 10 a.m. You can take a nap. I mean, it's across the world, so it's actually technically earlier. You know, it's jet lag, <laughs> ch you know, teleport lag. Teleport yeah. lag, it just Maybe gets Nessa and Zara have seen him. We can mm. find out. I mean, we could use another healer, yeah. always. It would be, it would be sure. 10, you know, 10, 30 in Whitestone. Kind of a lone wolf. It's about wanna... 6 and 6.30, 7 in the morning, like really early morning in, I, in Speaking of parents, this. do you want to check in with Sarah, your, your temple? Uh, Spike has, uh, Pike has actually stayed back. Spike. Um, in Whitestone to help the refugees. Yeah. Oh, she didn't she even come to Vastline? No, but, but she did say she, she's hoping, if need, she's gonna keep an eye best she can through Saren Ray. When she can pop in, oh, she'll try time. and see if she can reject her form. If we had thought about it, we going would have. forward. She's led by her conscience. Okay. She's led by her schedule in New York. Yes. yes. <laughs> we, did, we didn't think to leave her a, 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 a stone, did we? If you'd like to, you could. I could let, let's, do, do we wanna would, like. Would we have done that? I would have. Definitely suggested leaving her with one of the stones yeah, so that she could. We probably should leave a stone with her so she can pop in with us. Okay, we'll say that she does that. She keeps a, she keeps a gate stone with herself just in case. <laughs> Trinket stays in the mall, right? Shut up. <laughs> Trinket's gonna guard the Trinket castle. Is right here, right now. <gasps> he has been quiet because he's really well behaved. <laughs> I'm still. Trinket's been practicing his stealth. Yeah. <laughs> So stealthy done. All right, so you've set up your rooms, your, your stuff about you. Uh, you have a full day before seemingly anyone from the Slayer's State is going to come back. Where do you want to head? Individual. Individuals? Oh, yeah. shit. Can Individual you buy pursuits? potions in this city? What? I don't know. Shit, you can't, can you? I'm afraid know. to start anything. It's 11 o'clock. I, it's know, 11 it's yeah. I just don't want to start anything. All right. Then we will end it there this week. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to get an idea of where you guys were going for oh, next okay. week. Oh, uh, I, I plan to go see Earthbreaker Groom. Okay. I want to wait and talk to Zara. Okay. I may want to have a conversation at the Temple of the Raven Queen. Okay. About some stuff. All right. Zara sounds fun. All right. But I do want to, you know, buy potions as well and stock up. All right. Do. Yeah, that too. All right. Uh, oh. Nothing. I probably tag along with Percival. Okay. He's got a good idea. What about what? Old old punchy man, you don't want to come with? Oh, yeah, I'll come watch you if you're going to have a fight. No, 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 no. I'm going to have a conversation no, with you. No, no, you're right. I do want to see old punchy man. Yeah. You yeah. can do both. Come on, hand to hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Dead so. Man. Watch you lose again. I'm not fighting him. <laughs> All right, so, Va so Vax and Scanlan are going with Grog to uh, the Trial and then Forge. Zara. Okay. And, all right. Yeah. Um, and. I'm going to stock up on a bunch of stuff before. Okay. We'll do some shopping at the top, and okay. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna go to the to the uh, temple of the Raven Queen. I also want to talk to our map maker friend. Because <laughs> you're to the Raven's Crest. Got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll pick it up next week. At that point, guys. Okay. Awesome. Well done, guys. All right. Yeah. 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 I can. Uh, we abandoned Grayskull Keep. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah we did. Tough. And it's yeah. sad. Wow. Very sad. <laughs> we abandoned them on. Damn. Oh, wow. Damn. Uh, we can't help it from there. We have to go somewhere else in order to come back to it. Grayskull Keep is going to Sometimes be an you ancient have to dragon's kitty litter box. Send something away. In order I'm allergic to cat. You love it. You have to let, let it go. go. Like That's Grog Wisdom right there. Or, or our Elven Town. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Great job, man. I'm not Great job. You guys. No, do, 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 I was going to say, do you know who says, well, if you love it, you're gonna have, you have to let it go? Who? The one who got dumped. That's who. <laughs> and you got dumped. Sorry. That's horrible. So true. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm right. a, a terrible person. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll pick this up next Thursday. Uh, those we'll see tomorrow in Colorado. Looking forward to it. And to uh, sleep. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, look forward. I guess to my next episode of GM Tips. That'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, is it Thursday yet? I'll see you in Arizona. <laughs>